Hello, and welcome to another episode of the J. Craig Podcast. Uh, I am not J, and I'm definitely not Craig. Um, I'm Bob, but uh, I do have a special guest this week. Uh, his name is Jason Catron. Jason Catron, welcome! Uh-huh. Bob, what's I ha- up? I have taken over your podcast. You had well, why? Definitely not Craig. Oh, I'm I'm not as big as him. He is huge. He's oh, like, okay, yeah, okay. I was like, no, I, why was a little no. interesting way worded that? Oh Hi. no, 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 no. Nothing uh, derogatory. It's almost a compliment. Yeah, 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 yeah. His muscles are as big as my head, so it's very impressive. I am just a small, skinny guy, but I am very, very attractive for the, for the ladies that are listening. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing here? How, what's um, I'm drinking booze and I'm ready to talk, man. What are you what's drinking up? this week? I'm drinking um, Woodford Reserve. Some Woodford whiskey. Reserve, very yeah. nice. Whiskey, very nice. whiskey yourself. Um, I picked up a bottle of Lagunitas Imperial Stout, brewed and bottled by the Lagunitas Brewing Company, Petaluma, California, which uh, is a good segue. Because in California this weekend is the Academy Awards. <laughs> Before we jump the gun, welcome back. And if you're not familiar with the J. Craig, we are an entertainment podcast. We focus on movies and all things related to the cinematic arts. If that sounds like your cup of tea, hit the subscribe button. Follow us. Like us. Come get drunk with us. Robert Gira. Hi. Hi, man. Glad I just want to back. say thank you for being back again because uh, no I am partnerless. This is the J No Craig Show, mm-hmm. right? So now I have to do another podcast and I thought, Still why? Still on sabbatical? You no, know, you know what? I got signs of life. Okay. Signs That's of life. Like it's, it might be returning. He might be returning very, very right. soon. So right. I'm looking forward to testing it out tomorrow morning, actually, <clears throat> uh, to see if he's actually ready to go. Um, so outside of that, though, uh, what, what are we talking about here? Um, you're here. We did a bunch of stuff recently about non-movie stuff, video games and comic books. And mm. now I wanted to do movies. And so, like you said, the Oscars, Oscars are, are tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. So, But this isn't going to be an Oscar podcast because... Yeah, because, so, yeah, folks, this is coming out of two weeks after the movie, after the, uh, the awards, right? So this is not going to be um, a bunch of predictions and our analysis of the 2018 i want to talk about oscars just kind of like in a general way and then more branched off into a couple cool things like yeah. oscar curse yeah what it means in pop culture what it that, means yeah. overall in the movie industry right but i mean we should touch on like the movies of this year you know oh i, I definitely want that's where i actually you know. want to start um but let me ask you this first so um how you watch uh like when the oscars come out and the oscars get nominated you typically go out and Find those movies and you watch them. Yes, I try to see them. All the Best Picture nominees before they come out. Um, this year I've been a little lax. I've been really busy because I've been working on my house. So I've seen five of the... Five, is there eight or nine this year? There's nine. Nine? I think I've seen five. I, I was going to watch three billboards today and I... Oh? Yeah, yeah. yeah I saw that one last night. We'll talk yeah. about it in a little bit. Um, um, so I'm not... And this is there's a lot this year. This is... A, I, I'm not positive, but this, I think nine is them. They they can have ten now. They can have ten, <clears throat> and I don't remember them ever having this many. Um, one, I think two, they might have had eight before. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine in 2017. Okay. Yeah. Because I remember once they did it after uh, I think it was 2009. Um, they really didn't take advantage of it. They would have like six or seven or right, whatever. Right. Right. But they. I don't know, I guess maybe in the past. I mean, if you have the ability to have nine, you can't, you, you can't find three or four. I can't believe to... they can't just put ten, you know? Right. You know, I mean, for. Like, You're saying there was like, no, there wasn't another movie out there that could be considered. How about. How? I got two that you could have put up there. <laughs> well, I mean, even think about last year. Uh, if they would have just. Okay, you got nine. For shits and giggles, throw up. Uh, well, not last year, but uh, two years ago. Throw up Force Awakens. You know, it's the sure. most popular movie of the year. Everyone went and saw it. Okay. Think about the ratings they probably would have got. People are yeah. like, oh, Force Awakens up for an Oscar. I want to see what happens here, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you might get people to actually watch it. So, okay, so that's, that actually brings up a good point. So, what is the value of the Oscar in terms of how are they grading an Oscar? It's on perception of the person's viewing, right? That's it. Yes. It's not about... is. It, why isn't it about the box office or the records it breaks or the, the longevity it's in the theater 
or, you know, or, all those things that make a movie legendary. The best picture of the year. Like, right. And so the, a movie no one ever heard of is the best picture of the year. And I, and I get the, that maybe the quality was great or maybe the story was unique or maybe it was, you know, risque and it, and it did something really cool. I don't know. But I think they're, they don't take that in consideration, I don't think, at all. I don't Not think that so. Transformers needs to be up there, obviously. It's a popularity contest. Yes, it's, it is. Because think about it. You're, hundreds of movies get released a year, and all these people that are voting, all these Academy members, and all the other award shows leading up to it, it's almost like a primary leading up to a presidential election, you know, yeah. or whatever. But it's like you just happen to always land on these same, like, five, six movies. Right. It's like, come on, dude. Same five, and then, six actors, and then, directors. Yeah, and I... Not five, you know, six, but... Yeah, and I do... Well, it's usually whatever movie and the director go with it. Sure. Most of the time. But and then you get to the... You think about it, and it's like... Once you watch them, you're like, these are really the best movies of the year. Right. These are the best. No, it's these are the la- ones you saw last. You a know? lot of times, right? You know, because there's yes. movies that come out in January, February. You know, hidden gems and stuff, or summer movies, which you know, even I mean, though they, they can go rewatch them again to to refresh themselves. Yeah, you're right. You don't get that first that first feeling mm-hmm. of the movie. And that's the most important one, right? Is that right. first reaction to it. And if you have that reaction in January or December or November, and the, the one the one that may be the front runner that should win, like Wind River, should be up in January, <laughs> right, motherfucker. <laughs> And that wasn't that long. Who was this Oscar? What was that, Octo- what October when we saw that? Um, no, no, it was... Uh... Oh, well, let's bring it back now. Bring it back, though. Yeah. You brought okay. up Wind River. Yeah, I did. Now... I, know. I, I had to. I couldn't hold back. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to hold off on that son of a bitch. But now, I had to come out. whenever, you know, when you brought up the Oscar snubs, the first movie that popped in my mind was Wind River. Yep. Because that movie was just fantastic yeah that i mean writing acting just overall just a great movie i mean now okay we're not going to talk about the snubs just yet but yes i want to yeah you're great great point on every level it's good but yet hell or high water was nominated in a lot of the categories last year and it's you know similar of what it, you know what it is filmmaker writer what have you yes. right and but hell and high water is such a much more phenomenal movie like it's a better movie like, Wind River is really, really fucking good. Yeah, if I had to watch... But Hell or High Water yeah, is just something special. If I had to watch... it, Yeah, if I had to pick one, I'd watch Hell or High Water yeah. again. Yeah. Right. Not, nothing nothing against Wind River. I mean, it's a fantastic movie, but... No, but it's that's a got Jeff Bridges in it. Yeah. <laughs> and Chris Pine and Bren, Ben Foster together is Chris just, like, Pine awesome. Chris Pine doing... Acting I didn't even think he was capable of. I knew he was capable of doing it. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I yeah. saw him in a, in a couple things. And what... I mean, obviously, when I saw him as Kirk, I thought he was... I was like, man, he has got some, like, I like his ability. I think he's not just... But I've never really seen him in anything besides that. I mean, mean, until Wonder Woman. There's something else. Yeah, there was something else. And he was great in Wonder Woman. Missing that. I mean, uh, you know, that... Everyone thought that that should have been nominated for something, but I don't... Right. I don't agree with that. So... I think it was an important movie. What's that? Which one? Wonder Woman. Oh, as far as not being nominated? Yeah. um, It's definitely important. It was definitely very good, but I don't mind it not being up for Best Picture, but Best Director? I'm... I'm interested in having her in that conversation. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah you, best director, absolutely. Instead, what do we have for best director? We have, um, where is it at? It's on my sheet here. Uh, why is it not on my sheet here? It should be right under picture. It's actors under picture. That oh, is strange. Oh, here it is. It's up top here. It's hidden here. Uh, Christopher Nolan, Dunkirk, Jordan Peele, Get Out, Greta Gerwig, Lady Twig, Lady Bird. Lady, Lady Twig? Twig. Where the Greta Gerwig, Lady <laughs> Twig. <laughs> <laughs> Phantom I don't Fred, want to see that movie. Paul Thomas Anderson and The Shape of Water, Guillermo del Toro. So um, oh. yeah, I mean, and those I, are good. Those are good, but and I think actually Jordan Peele, I love that. Selection I've actually there. seen all those movies. I love the selection <laughs> of Jordan Peele. I don't like the Get Out for Best Picture. No, I don't think. No, that's good it, movie, it, but I don't yeah. no. But I think as di- best director, no. absolutely having that conversation. No, I, I absolutely you think so. Yeah, yeah. I give him writer because he wrote it, but direction. I would totally put him in the category. I don't. I don't know. That if movie I would go was for goofy as hell. Well, I guess so was Shape of Water. Yeah, well, but it was beautifully, beautifully made. I mean that you talk about best direction. Right. Well, even Phantom Thread, which I don't know, it was an okay movie. You know, yeah. it was. Uh, it was what it was. Yeah. But it was. It was beautifully made. It was. It was beautifully made. Yeah, exactly. So I don't mind him in that category either. Like I yeah. don't like the movie necessarily. Like it's not my cup of tea. 
No, but I, mean, I, but I definitely the, thought he made a great movie. Yeah, for the me. thing I mean, the thing about that movie, all it needed was Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> well, you know, right? You and, just watch him, and you're like, I don't. You know, he's making a dress. Yeah, whatever. but no, but Paul but, Thomas Anderson's the way he uses the camera with Daniel Day Lewis. It's just it's just magic between those two guys. I mean, you can't. It's undeniable. I mean, they're just awesome together. Um, Lady Bird, though, uh, Greta Gerwig. Um, I thought Didn't she did one, a so very say. interesting director directing job she made the story which is basically about this uh girl that's a senior in high school in sacramento and just wants to get the hell out of there um and it's her last year of high school it basically goes over the whole year of high school and uh she made it very fun quick uh quick cuts oh really okay it's, it's uh, it, the know, trailer looked like it was really slow paced no it's fast oh wow and okay. it's it's very funny it's very witty Okay. And it's very much just, I think uh, females would love it way more than I did because they could probably relate to it better. Okay. I mean, it's very um, about a daughter and... I heard that. Yeah, I heard it. It's very... Uh, a daughter and a mother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, she does have a... There's a father, but he's basically like, you know, he's a cool dad, you know, just like, eh, just, you know, try not to piss off your mother kind of thing. Try not to get her But it's very... Uh, it's hard to explain if you haven't seen it. Okay. It's just the way it's directed, the way it's cut, the way the story. So you told. you you think she's definitely in that category for best director? <clears throat> um. Yeah, I would like. Yeah, if, if it's gonna be part of the conversation of picture, then yeah, she definitely deserves it. Okay. I definitely don't mind Christopher Nolan. I don't like the movie. I get why it's at up to best 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 picture. It's Christopher Nolan, but I definitely like him as director, best director. You don't like I the do. movie? I do. No, I don't. I like the movie, but I don't oh, like it. As, I, I don't out like of it movie, as. I, was, best, I don't think it's best picture. Oh God! Well, I, right after I saw it, I'm like, that's. I can't think of anything. I knew it would be nominated. Yeah, absolutely. I was yeah. like, that movie was amazing. Yeah, I, I really liked it. I really did, but I don't think it's. Um, I don't know. I thought there was better movies. Well, yeah. Like, I, I mean, better than. Well. I mean, I didn't see a lot of these, right? Like, so you you see how many this year? You saw five, now six. Yeah. I only saw five of these nine, right? I did not see Shape of Water. I did not see Lady Bird. I did not see or Lady Twig. I did not see Darkest yeah, Lady, Hour. Lady Twig is very. And I did not see Call Me by Your Name. Um, so I mean, I get it. Dunkirk's a good movie. It's a very good movie, and it's very well crafted. So that's why I say best director for absolute positivity there. But um, I don't know. I just wasn't like. I don't think it's the best picture. It can be nominated for sure, but I just don't think it's. If I had to give him one or the other, definitely direction. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that, yeah. That okay, movie, I see it. That so movie was... We can meet in the middle there on that one. Yeah, that okay. movie was just... It was... It was an assault on your senses, your eyes, your ears, everything. Yeah. You know, it was a movie... Um, when Mike said he watched it at home, I almost felt bad for him, you know? Where I'm like, dude, that's a movie you oh, have to for see. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you got to see it. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's yeah, an experience yeah, yeah, where just sure. everything's coming at you. Right, right. Where when those planes are flying over and everyone in the movie is like freaked out when they hear them and you're even like looking around. Yeah, the theater, yeah, like, no, it was an experience. Shit. Yeah, I mean, it was a... The, <clears> the I love the experience. The experience sound. was amazing for that movie and that's why, yeah. So, you know what? In that regard, okay. <clears throat> Maybe I'll, I'll I'll put it back in the best picture category. So oh, you, you, you prove a good point. Yes. Okay. So let let so I didn't see a couple of these. Darkest Star. I know we both didn't see. I want to see it. Uh, the Post. It's obviously going to be up there. It's a very well made movie. It's a Spielberg movie. It touches on a very important topic right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't have come out at a better time. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, the parallels to, you know. I don't want to get political, but the parallels to what what's going on then and what's going on now with yeah. you know it's hard to call it yeah. a uh, coincidence. Yeah, yeah, for it sure. Was like, I liked it a lot. I mean, no, it's a good movie. I was very entertained. That movie yeah. should not be as entertaining as it was, uh-huh. and that's all Spielberg. Yeah, okay. And he's not even yeah. nominated for director. That's kind of what right I said now. about Death Wish. It's, it's better than it should have been. <laughs> <laughs> Still not mad I didn't go. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, man. I had a blast. Okay, so. Um, that's, okay, so outside of that, you got the best picture. I'm not. I'm just not very overwhelmed this year. Like with like it's the, 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 especially because I feel slighted in, in two categories in two movies. Okay, obviously Wind River, obviously and Blade Runner not being nominated for best picture or best director, and the fact that both of those movies aren't on this oh, list. Oh, I forgot about Blade Runner. Yeah, man. Yeah. The fact that I just feel like these are some good movies, and the ones I've seen are really good. Um, three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. I know will win best somewhere. She'll probably win best actress. I would think maybe. 
Um, I don't. I wouldn't doubt him. Who's Woody she? Harrelson's really Who's good. Who's she? She's Frances McDormand. Okay. She's the best. She's up for best actress. Best actress, lead okay. actress, yeah. And then um, Sam Rockwell and Woody Harrelson up for uh, supporting ah, actor. So it's gonna split the vote, right? Although I'd love to see Sam Rockwell get an Oscar. Uh, yeah. Sam Rockwell's amazing. And he's good in it. He's Although you really know what, I don't want to see him get an Oscar because then he would be not Sam Rockwell anymore. Okay, so now that's what we're gonna talk about a little bit. Oscar winner. That's what I want to talk about a little bit. Let's let's go back to that in a second because okay. I, I want to touch on that. So okay, so best picture, we get the best director. We kind of talked about best director, right? I mean. There's nothing else to really say about there. I didn't yeah. see Shape of Water, what so are, I can't call on that one. Oh, I wish you would have, though. So, I'm, not, I'm just not really Because you're not a by. Guillermo del Toro fan, right? Uh, that's a hard question to answer, because I like a couple of his movies. Okay. I like this, his I like his, his enthusiasm, and I love his like childlike... This did not uh, look like anything of his that I've seen before. This yeah. is a very... Really? Almost like a fairy tale. Pan's Labyrinth's a fairy tale. Okay, I'll give you that. And it's a period piece. Okay, my bad. Is it anything like <laughs> Pan's Labyrinth? No, no, no. It's not a. Oh it's fuck! A, there, okay, you, no, you got me really excited yeah, there, Bob. No, no, there's no, um, there's no like, fan, really fantasy there. world. Okay. But I do think you will like it. Um, okay, cool. I, uh, I, I'm actually surprised it's nominated for all these. Ca- I, I think it has 13 nominations, which it's a lot. Blows yeah. my mind because if you watched it, maybe like in the summertime. Mm-hmm. It would never occur to me that it, this movie would speak to other people. Like, like huh. it would be nominated for things. Because it's so... It's actually pretty freaking weird. <laughs> so that's that's so strange. Because it just... Like, I don't like... I haven't like, liked I, a movie from him since Blade 2. <laughs> well, you just said Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, that's right. That was, I thought that was after for some reason. That's right. Yeah. That was before. That was well before. Yeah. yeah. Blade 2 was 19... Nine. No. 2002. Was it? Yeah. Oh, pull that out of your ass, man. Yeah, I put, know put my it, superhero movies. Put it right back in there. <laughs> put it right back in there. I don't want to watch And if that you want to know more about superhero movies and my crazy uh, knowledge of them, go back uh, a couple episodes and uh, I'll sh- tell you all sorts of shit. They, there, there's that. And then we'll, we'll give Bob a little a page on our website and he can talk about his comic books. <clears throat> a little form for Bob. Oh. A little Alva on, on the J. Craig with I do Bob like, on the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So overall, though, listen, I I'm just not very overwhelmed with the selection. I do. Because, I do agree. I because do. you know those two are locked are left out, right? That that really kind of burns this kind of but, th- but, thing here. But, but that mix of movies is really like, eh, and they're you know. all good. I just eh, yeah. underwhelmed because yeah, nothing like like mm. yeah. Okay. So that, that's what I want to talk about now. So if you look at but, this, but what was last year? Aha. Aha. What was up for best picture last year? Was it just as underwhelming? Okay, nine movies: Arrival, Hacksaw Ridge, mm. Hello High Water, La La Land, Fences, Lion, Moonlight, Manchester by the Sea, and mm. I don't Hidden Figures. Oh, that was the astronaut one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So the, uh, the the the, NASA the, one. the the women, yeah, the women yeah. Um, there, yeah. So Shit. now think about 2017. Now compared to 2018, you have Arrival, Hacksaw Ridge, and Hello High Water. Wasn't the Martian or oh, that must have been two years ago. Martian was before that, yeah, 2016, okay. yeah, okay. and that's another good year. But this 2017 was a hotbed of good movies up for Best Picture, Best Director. Now, man, I mean, Mel Gibson for Hacksaw, Barry Jenkins for Moonlight. I don't know that. I didn't see Moonlight. I didn't see Moonlight. Uh, Kenneth Long, uh, Longero Lo- Lo- or Long- oh, Long- Largo for Manchester by the Sea. Denny Vellanu for Arrival, and Damien uh, Chazelle, I think his name is, for La La Land. Yeah, he won. And he won, right. And then Moonlight won Best Picture. So yeah, after it, La La Land won Best Picture. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? After La La Land won oh, Best Picture. Oh, that's right. That's right. That was, that was, that's right. I, and funny, <laughs> funnily enough, I started to circle it first. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay, I didn't see Moonlight, um, but man... I feel like I'm the only person who liked La La Land. Oh, okay. Now, I... Did you see it? I did, and I really enjoyed it when I saw it in the theater. Okay. Now, I, I hate it now because Tina watches it all the time, and I play it, hear the soundtrack all okay, the time, so okay. I'm just so fucking tired that of it. That makes sense, because Tina and I are simpatico. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So she loves it. And, of um, course, and I, I had a blast in the theater watching it. <clears throat> Best director? I can see that. I can oh, see that. just for that first yeah. scene of Best, the movie. Best picture? I was glad it wasn't. I was obviously of hoping, all those. I would uh, rival man. Rival man. Rival. And Hello High Water. I feel like if Arrival wasn't there, put that in there. If Hello High Water had better box office, it probably would have won. 
That's the bullshit, though. So, what is, is it the box office then, or well, is it the it fucking came out, It came out in May. That's the problem. So it came out too early, you're saying? Yeah, it came out in May. Arrival came out in October. You just make me drink is, more whiskey, man. Well, that's... I'm starting to get for. depressed about this. Okay. All right, that's 2017. Now, 2016. I'm going to get him fucked. You have, I think, eight Best Picture nominations. Big Short, Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max Fury Road, bitch. That is amazing. I know, right? That's thanks to Batman, by the way. That's, that's thanks to the Dark Knight rule. Mm-hmm. Adding these more, right? Yep. Uh, Martian. Which they never took advantage of. The whole reason they expanded the it's best picture get, well, is like because this. everyone was pissed off that the Dark Knight wasn't in there. Right. And, now and they then they never really took right. advantage Until of that it. Until that, that one they took advantage of. Now, then Martian, Revenant, and Room. <laughs> I didn't see Room. Man, I did not see Room either, but man, there's some good fucking movies there. Mm. Oh, and also Spotlight, which one? Um, Spotlight is really good. Bridge of Spies is really good, and I did not want to watch it. Courtroom, spy movie... Boring, yeah. and I thought it was amazing. Spielberg and written by the Coens. And it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want? I just they didn't have time to. Uh, awesome. They didn't have time to direct it, and he had an opening. That's awesome. So Bridge of Spies was <laughs> really, really, really fucking good. And then you got Mad Max, The Martian, and Revenant. So I mean, you have some fucking awesome movies. That's the best Martian. I'm su- uh, that's a surprise. That it was on there. Yeah, that's like a crowd pleasing movie. That doesn't seem like. Yeah, a, I can't see that being. Picture. That's right. I really enjoyed it. I mean, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, but at I the like same time, lot. I see. Okay, now best director, you have the Big Short, obviously, because it was up for best picture there. Mad Max. Oh, I shouldn't have won. Revenant, but you know what? That's fine. He won. Though, he won. He? Yeah. And then Room and Spotlight for best director. I, I didn't write the names down on that. And then Ridley um, Scott. Was yeah, check this out. They do not like Ridley Scott. Check this out. <laughs> Cinematography. For 2016, for the Hateful Eight, Richard Richardson, Robert Richardson, mm-hmm. Mad Max. I don't, I didn't know his name there. Um, I forgot who it was. And then Revenant and Sicario. Look at those four movies for best cinematography: Hateful Eight, Mad Max, Revenant, and Sicario. The Hateful Eight, huh? Yeah. Wow. That, that was a beautiful looking movie. Yeah. Look like a good, look like a solid western, right? Uh. So, at any rate, now last thing I wanted to mention was uh, wait, this. Yeah, Sicario. Last thing I wanted to mention... Sicario wasn't... That was the only thing that Sicario was nominated for? No, 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 no. No, not at all. I don't know. No, but actually. I mean... Cause that's, I, all, that's all I looked for. I saw Sicario time. late. I only saw it uh, last year. And but I'm surprised that wasn't nominated for, like, Best Picture. It wasn't nominated for Best Picture. Um, it should have been nominated for more. Absolutely. I don't know what it was. But that, that's just what I noticed. I was like, I had to write that down because that was... Uh, Really, really awesome to see. Written by uh, the same guy who wrote uh, Hell or High Water and The Wind River. Yes. So yeah. people, and, if you're listening oh. to this and you like uh, good movies written very well, mm. uh, what was his name again? Taylor. Tyler Durden. No. no. Taylor no. Schmidt. No. Taylor Hackford. Shackford. No. Damn it. Taylor uh, Sheridan. Yeah. That has some more whiskey. You Taylor drunk, Sheridan. You drunk fuck. Hey. <laughs> Growing, growing Cheers, up. my friend. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, Taylor. Look, just IMDb Taylor Sheridan. I got and, the name at least. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, call me drunk, but you can't get the name. Well, I, I'm, I'm not good at that kind of stuff. I just you expect too much from me, Bob. Well, expect <laughs> everything from me. <laughs> I just come here and show up. So you need to watch what? Uh, Taylor, Taylor yeah, Sheridan. Yeah, IMDb Taylor Sheridan. Watch any movie. Any he's movie written. he's a part of. He's written. Yeah, he's also an actor, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't even yeah. look at that part. Um, but he is phenomenal. Speaking of him, by the way, there's a show coming out called Yellowstone. Okay. With is Kevin Costner. No. Oh. Kevin Costner. It's a series. Not by Yogi Bear. It's a series. Oh, that's Jellystone. By <laughs> directed and written by Taylor Sheridan. What? Wait. That sounds boring. It also stars a lot of other. No, no, no. It's about it's about ranchers on Yellowstone in the Yellowstone area, right? And uh, it looks amazing. I'm sure he'll make it amazing. Watch but, the trailer. But uh, I know exactly a, a show right? called Yellowstone starring Kevin Costner. Yeah, that just sounds boring. Not Jellystone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo boo. <laughs> It's Yellowstone, bitch. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what I'm saying, though? I, it's I like, do. All right, we have a national I park. I know. That's why when I, when I looked up, I always look up these people, and I looked up Taylor Sheridan, what he's doing right now, and it said Yellowstone, Kevin Costner, and I was like, uh, ranchers, and I'm like, ah, but it's going to be good. Yeah. Because yeah, it's him, no, I got right? nothing against Kevin Costner. It's like anything Dallas, Deli Bellinu makes. Arrival, it sounds like a another just another alien movie, but 
when you go see it, you're just blown away. Yeah, I was so happy I didn't know anything about that movie. Absolutely, going dude. Isn't that the best thing? Yeah. So I want to mention one more thing about 2018. Okay. Before we continue here. Wind River got no nominations. At all? Oh, wow. At all. Now, Blade Runner. Did they watch it? Because Seriously. I, I mean, if anything, just give Jeremy Renner an Oscar. Sk- s- screenwriting. And I'll give him a lot of different factors there. I thought it was a great movie. Yeah, but he was so good. It was so good. Uh, Blade Runner did get five nominations. Yeah, but all technical, right? Yeah, best, well, best DP, Roger, Roger Deakins. Well, of course, he's, he's going to win that. He's going to win that. Uh, has he ever won? That's a great question. I do not know. Because I, okay. I'm oh, sure. I do have a phone. You look it up. Right. Uh, best visual effects, best sound mixing, best production design, best sound editing. So, um, so okay, so listen, man. We Earlier. So it got all the Star Wars stuff. Exactly, right. It got the technical shit. Yeah. So, uh, earlier you were talking about, um, you know, how winning an Oscar might affect someone's career, right? Like Sam Rockwell might not be... Sam Rockwell. Um, he might not be Sam Rockwell anymore. Maybe he'll start, you know, he'll stop being that guy and trying too much, right? Sam Rockwell's been around a while. Yeah. So, and Sam Although, Rockwell is very, is, has challenged himself. He's done a lot of different things, right? So I don't think you have to worry about that. But there is something about that. I, 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 but I, could you imagine, like, Sam Rockwell, like, name above a movie uh, poster, like, starring Sam Rockwell, where no, people know who he is? But no, I mean but, he has led movies like, um, you know, Moon and uh, uh, what's the Gong Show one where he's awesome. Oh fuck, I forgot the name of that one. Um, where he's assassin. And, yeah. Uh, did he? The Clooney Clooney direct directed that. Yeah, yeah, Confessions of a Dangerous yeah, Mind. Yeah, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Um, but I mean, those haven't been like huge successes or anything no, like that. But no. can, I like a big movie with. You know, starring Sam Oscar, see, I, Oscar winner Sam Rockwell. That would, that would just. But he's be also weird. winning best. He might win best supporting, not best actor. Just winning best supporting doesn't mean. But you're it will be give him. To, it, know, it gives you more opportunities. Okay, so does it? That's yes. cu- that's cra- I'm it curious does. that you say that because I was doing some research about this, and I guess the the opposite is true, that you don't get as many options. I thought they flood you with. Well, and they, I don't know. Man, hey, I, and I, people just here's what a I lot of people just shows. Uh, pick shitty movies. There is something called an Oscar curse. And it usually, have you heard of this? I think I have. Doesn't it happen to like uh, best supporting actresses or something? Uh, it happens to a couple of different. Yeah, that's well, prime one of the primary targets here. It seems like, but there's other areas there. Um, but you, you know what? You know, and then when you look at overall, though, it says most Oscars. Um, uh, they appear in more movies. The actors appear in more movies in the in the next five years after a win. You know that that's like that's where they blow up. In the next five years is where they get some more opportunities. That's what it shows. But then there's also the curse where it doesn't mean you're going to get more opportunities. It just, oh, okay. The stars I, th- align I thought it thing. meant you get more opportunities, but um, a lot of the people just pick crap movies, and that's why it seems like a curse. And then their career goes back down. Possibly. Again. So ha- Holly Berry said something like, you know, she she was never given any more opportunities after that. Every time it seemed like they were, um, they were they, they, like she was hard, hard to work with, kind of thing. Monique, who won, <laughs> said that she was um, that you should be. You thought you would give you more money, more options, more respect, and she didn't get any of that when she won. Um, Cuba Gooding Jr. Like his, like he started making horrible decisions, but because what? Maybe nothing else was offered to him, right? Uh, so now more women well, than men are on, affected by on, this curse. Uh, that that Cruise movie, like Jerry where, Maguire, and that's where he won. No, not Tom. Cruise. Oh, the boat cruise movie. Boat cruise movie. Tom so cruise like, movie. <laughs> the cruise I, he was movie. A, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his career, yeah, his career did go downhill from there, which is odd. You know, in a, okay, so here's some more. It seems like it affects women more. Yeah. Well, Holly Berry took Catwoman right after she won. And that was movie, it right after? Yeah, and that movie was terrible. Charlize Theron took uh, Aeon Flux right after she won. Was it and right it, after? Yeah, it was right No kidding. Okay, so it, it seems like so women... So these reports didn't mention any of that. Interesting. Oh, yeah, they, it seems like... Oh, and that's why it, the perception is that it's women, is because women take these... Uh, these roles that would they would never really get offered, 
Which is fine, but it, they don't know that it's going to turn to shit. That's know? true. Yeah, you. Yeah, you might. Yeah, there's so many things that fact uh, that at play. Yeah. When it comes to a making, it, pick, picking a movie and hoping that it's a success, right, and being a part of a success. And then now we find out that you know Mira Servino wasn't a curse. It was because Harvey Weinstein fucked up her career. Yeah. Right. There's. You know? Yeah. Exact. Exactly. She wasn't on this list, um, but but Marissa Tomei was. Kim Basinger. Um, oh yeah. Her Jennifer- curse was she just got hotter as she got older. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Damn, is she hot? Yeah, but she wasn't given anything. But she was hot, and then and then she did eight mile. I think was after that. That was about it. Mercy right? Tomei. Oh, I think it was Kim Basinger. Oh no, no, like she was pretty hot. No, I'm talking about Mercy Tomei. Yeah, you're right though. She is getting hotter. Ugh. Um, no, uh, she, Renee Zellweger. Mercy Tomei actually did good. She was like, okay, my career is not really going anywhere. I'm gonna start doing all these indie stuff, and she was like in the wrestler and. Yeah, um, that was a long time. That was a long time after winning that. Yeah, movie. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, long you know, after. she she started being like all these indie movies, and yeah. people started actually saying, "Oh, you know, she's actually a pretty good actor." Right, you know? right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and now um, everyone loves her because you know she's hot Aunt Bay. Right. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> uh, Jennifer Hudson also had a problem after she won. Renee well, Zellweger she was and Mar- s- uh, Marcia Gay Harden after they won. Okay. Like, well, nothing came their way. Jennifer Hudson wasn't an actress. She was a singer. Right. And she won because that was a musical. Dreamgirls. Right. That's right. Was you it, know? Was it a musical or was it just about music? No, it was a musical. Was it a musical? Okay, yeah. I don't know. Well, I mean, it was about music, but it was mostly singing. Okay, but a musical is... A, there's a... There's different, right? Being right, on but, stage singing isn't a musical. Right, but... You know, I'm set. saying she won because she could sing well. You know? Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, because it was a lot. Of, okay, I'm just saying. You know, you know definition it's a, it's of this, what a musical is yeah, versus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the same way they always give. Movie about music. They give Oscar. <laughs> yeah, they give Oscars to actors that sing. Like look at like Reese Witherspoon and. Uh, well, those who and, when you sing or when you really stretch outside the boundaries uh, and are effective with you know there's a yeah. lot of you know those examples like Daniel Day Lewis uh, in My Left Foot, um, Billy Bob Thornton. No, but there's you know, really a big history group. of. Uh, of actors that you're like, oh, they can sing. You right, know? right, right, right. I mean, even Emma Stone last year, you know, and that kind of the point of that movie is that neither of them could sing. <laughs> but it right? was a musical. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the things, best, the best actor, direct, the actor, the actress Nicole Kidman, supporters. Moulin Rouge. She was nominated. She was nominated, but I, didn't win. Right. These were all winners. Yeah, but I'm just saying, when people sing in movies, they usually get nominated. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, um, okay. Uh, Catherine Zeta Jones or Renee Zellweger in Chicago, you know that kind uh, of thing. You know, people I, you don't I expect to be singing. Where you know who actually was a great singer in, uh-huh. in Moulin Rouge was Ewan McGregor. He should have won. He was fucking fantastic. Yeah, he was. You know, yeah. he was always awesome. He's fucking Obi Wan, man. Mm-hmm. Obi Wan can do no harm, right? So, Obi-Wan so Kenobi. So this curse is obviously, you know, it's bad decision. It's it's maybe it's a so bunch in some of different situations. Things, it seems yeah. like bad decisions. A lot of them are no. Uh, Marcia Gay Harden was always. She was almost like a, a TV actress kind of person, you know? And she was, well, she, she's yeah. been on TV shows. I mean, it's not like her career went anywhere. Right. She wanted, I don't know, I mean, she was fantastic in that movie. But... Yeah, but she was, you know, she thought after winning, you would think that you would get more opportunities for better movies and bigger movies, you know, and uh, right, you know, but more the, commercial value, yeah. more, you know, but unfortunately, uh, great the, directors. Yeah, but it's, it's freaking. Uh, Speed of Steven Spielberg's not calling, right? Why, why not? It's won an Oscar. Actually, I'm surprised he didn't. Watch it probably you know, did, and we don't even yeah. know. Uh, but okay, so here, check this out. The, the they, they said that the curse might be weakening because Jennifer Lawrence has been on a hot streak, right? She she won, and she's constantly making some really interesting movies. You know, not everything's good, but her career is still going st- stronger than ever. Uh, and then Eddie Raymond, Eddie Redman, Eddie Redmayne, whatever the fuck his name is. Ugh. Yeah, because he was awesome in Jupiter Descending. And he's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that should have destroyed his career. Dude, I think I, I, think I actually per, like, physically removed that from my body, that, nice. that memory. Nice. Until you brought it up and all of a sudden I just saw a glimpse. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. No, no man, C. Tate's. That movie is... Super fucking bad. At any rate, so, okay, so, I mean, the actual curse is, you know, it's maybe any bad decisions, maybe not, but I don't think you have to worry about someone like Sam Rockwell, because it's not like he's been struggling as an actor trying to find work. He's always in movies. Sometimes he's the first Bill, like with uh, Duncan Jones's Moon. Sometimes he's he's a bit, you know, he's a secondary character, which I think he works better in. 
like say I see Jesse James <sighs> as uh, Charlie uh, Charlie Ford, right? Yeah. I mean, he is so good at everything he's in. And you know what? I don't remember who's up against him in supporting actor, except who for is? Woody Harrelson. Um, I didn't see Christopher Christopher Plummer and All the Money in the World. I didn't see uh, Richard Deacon. No, he worked for like two days. Okay, but Richard Jenkins. That was Jenkins. Kevin Spacey's role when they fired him. And then William Defoe in Florida Project. Richard Jenkins? Yeah. Oh, he was actually really Shape good. of Water. Yeah, so. he was great. So, I mean... But William God. Defoe, I never even heard of that movie. The Florida, I, saw a tra- I saw a trailer for it a couple times. Okay, Richard yeah. Jenkins. Well, I, what I think is going to happen there... Is Woody Harrelson and Sam Rockwell will split the vote because they're both in the same movie. So people, who what happened? Because you're all listening to this after it happened. So yeah, <laughs> that's true. But if I was to put, if I was to put money on it, I'd give it to Richard Jenkins, and the man deserves it. He's fucking great in everything. Is he is he great in everything? He is. He is. Yeah, he, he, he absolutely is. <laughs> all I gotta say is Bone Tomahawk. Oh, I don't don't <laughs> stop talk. To, yeah, yeah, or, you know, awesome movie. Or Step Brothers. <laughs> okay. So let's move on. So, um, or the therapist, and there's something about Mary, where he leaves. <laughs> well, he, he's always really good, man. He is so good. Um, okay, so then let's uh, let's I'm going to ask you this, this question: What does the Oscars mean to you? Like, when you see a best um, whatever wins, what do you think that means? Do you do, to myself? Yeah, doesn't mean anything. Okay, does that mean that it's the best movie of the year? No, hell no. Okay, now do you? Um, what, to, what am I trying to ask here? Um, what do you think it means to the people who win them? I think it means everything. I mean, it's um, <coughs> it's their industry, you know. It's like uh, if I was, yeah, the you know, bragging rights. Yeah, if them. I was a pizza maker and they had the pizza maker awards and I won, it would be like, oh, that's great. You know, I'd be happy. Like, like people, uh, I'm getting recognition for what I do for my art. And your peer, pre- it's a peer, it's a peer thing. Yeah, because people everyone... that uh, ab- are in the same industry appreciate what I do. Right. But the other for us to talk about it, for other people to talk about it, it's art. It's subjective. You right. can't say this is the best picture of the year. Yeah, that exactly. doesn't mean anything. Right. You know. Right. I, I mean, it's not a contest. I mean, it's a contest, right? But how do you how do you judge it? It's by you perception. Can't. It's by what your view of that movie was, and you can't judge art. Right. If you're well, what happens if you try to watch three movies in a day to try to see all these movies? How can you judge a movie like the third movie properly after seeing two movies before it? You can't. That's you're, really you're, tough. Your mind, your mind is burned out by then. You Seriously, were, because you, you know you, you've either been disappointed or you've been elated. And so that whatever happened in the first couple of movies, or even the first movie, if just two movies, that's going to affect the second viewing. Right, and you're it has to. and you might be tired. You might not get all the uh, right? the subtle uh, things that the movie's trying to tell you underneath. You know, right. it's like it, it, there's so many things, and I mean, there's it means nothing. It only means something to the people that are winning. Yeah, you know, for us, for just people at home, it's just. You know, it's like watching a football game. It's just, eh, eh. yeah. You know? you know, and I used, to, like I said, I used to get disappointed when you know certain movies, like, and I am, I'm very disappointed that like a movie like Blade Runner or Wind River didn't get nominated. But then you look back and you see that it's good stuff does get nominated, and you know, it's all subjective. It's, but a lot of good stuff gets might... nominated and doesn't win. Right. I mean, somebody like was Assassination of Jesse James nominated for that year? No, it wasn't even mentioned. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. That movie was. Ugh. Oh, so good. Ugh. But then, same year was uh, There Will Be Blood. Speaking of, please don't forget this. Segway. Not segue. Side topic. <laughs> I have a collection of westerns that somewhere. you need to take home. All right. That's a starting. That's my starting kit for you. In okay. that order? It, oh, fuck. This is good yeah, radio. yeah. This is good radio. No, um, wait, no. No, wait. I, I know I did put them in order. It says Unforgiven, Once Upon a Time in the West. I'm not wearing my glasses. The Magnificent Seven. The Searchers. And the Sergio Leone Spaghetti Western Trilogy. The Sergio Leone. Yeah. That was my Italian accent. Okay, great. I'm part of Italian. Um, yeah, that's the order because you've already seen Unforgiven a long time ago. I wanted you to, re- I wanted to modernize you I with that. I saw it when it came out and I thought it was boring as hell. But I was, what, 14? Yeah, no, you're 11 now. Yeah. You're going to love it. And then Once Upon a Time in the West is my favorite Western. One of my favorite movies of all time, if not my favorite movie of all time. Magnificent Seven is going to take you on a fun-filled... Uh, Super packed, like a bunch of awesome actors. Yeah, together. Like Denzel and Chris Pratt. Yep. Awesome. Then you have <laughs> the Searchers, which is John Ford and John Wayne. 
pretty sure I've seen that one. You need to watch it. And then I have the original of the uh, the three spaghetti western trilogy there. All so, right, I'll do that. Yeah, for you okay. Because I love you. So don't. No, 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 no. I love you, and that's oh. why I'm giving these to you. You need oh. to watch these All right, because well, you I'll, need this. I'll open a nice bottle of cabernet. And, uh, yeah, while you watch some westerns, yeah. doesn't seem right. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't go right. Okay, so okay, so you said prestige. You know, you're getting that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that did not go down the right. <laughs> So <clears throat> we're talking about prestige. You get that exposure with your, your the peer net, that peer. Oh, with Christian um, Bale relation, and Hugh right? Jackman. Uh, <laughs> you get the the more exposure nationally, right? So now more people know about you. <clears throat> so now yes. more and more production yes. companies like I said, work it, with you. Oscars mean more to the person that wins, the people that win. <clears throat> you know. Yeah, well, I, because because if you think about an actor or even a director or any any particular you know win here, any category, um, when someone's looking for that particular skill set. And they're like, oh, that's someone that we can attach that just won an Oscar. That's going to, that, that, that first couple of movies have got to be like gold, right? You have got to strike that first couple really, really well after yeah. an Oscar, don't you think? Because you got to come off strong, Cause you, right? Yeah, because you have the opportunity to do whatever you want and yeah. you have to make that count. Yeah. You know, people are going to be like, things they would normally say no to you, they're going to say yes. <clears throat> and... If you do something and it completely fails, that means your instincts are not good. <laughs> that, that, there's that too. I mean, you just, you know, you got <clears> into <throat> a movie and it, it turned out great and everything else you picked has been shit. And we've seen mm-hmm. a lot of that. Yeah. Right? There's a lot of that shit. Um, just in success in general. But do you <clears> think <throat> that, uh, I'm sure that gives them more bigger paychecks because they have that cloud now they can work that with their, you know, their, their, their agents. <clears throat> um, bragging rights, right? With your peers. But then I think, what about the breakouts? Like who has, who has excelled after winning an Oscar? And I had a hard time mm. researching this because I didn't want to really dive into it like I needed to. But it's not only winning an Oscar, getting nominated breaks. Well, oh, that's you big out. too. Yeah, that's true. You too. know, I mean, right. uh, what comes to mind is like the people in Schindler's List. Like, no one knew who Ray Fiennes was before that. Right. You know, he didn't win. I don't think. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't. Because that was 93, I think. Yeah, I don't think he did. Um, but anyway, like his career blew up after that. There's a lot of people that just get nominated. And then still, they, yeah. they, they, people, right, then all they're like, oh, okay, that, that's use him. And um, boom, and they just they keep going. Yeah. And they make good choices. They have good people they're working with. Yeah, you, They have a lot yeah. more opportunities just because of the nomination. Right, And right. they make good decisions and, you know, their career blows up. Right, yeah, absolutely. So I, I looked at a couple here. I hope I can read these. Like I was writing quickly um, of like breakout stars. Okay. Like after winning an Oscar, and these, these are, are just winners. Now these are this is the easiest thing I could find was the first movie they ever made, and they won an Oscar. Okay. So that's that's, that's like, like the like the first one in, and they they get it right. Yeah. So um, Jennifer Hudson, we talked about her from the, right. the first part. She won from Dream Girl, her first movie. Diablo Cody won for Juno. That was her very first screenplay that she, that was, you know, made into a movie. Yeah. See, I would like, I, yeah, I, I would think um, screenwriters, that would be, it would be more common. And the next one is also too, Michael Ardent. Toy Story? Yep. But he won for, um, uh, was it Toy Story? Know- he, he won for Little Miss Sunshine. Oh, okay. And then he made Toy Story Inside Out and he wrote for... So- well, at least one draft of Force Awakens. That's why I know who he is. Yeah. Didn't he... Okay, so didn't he write the first draft for... Or maybe one draft for Indiana Jones, Kingdom of Crystal Skull? Uh, there was, yeah, like 10 people did. Yeah, but wasn't his like one of like the first ones that was like... No, that was uh, Shawshank. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, which is funny. Everyone was like... Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone wanted... What's his name now? Frank Darabont. Frank Darabont. Everyone was like, well, they should have made the Frank Darabont screenplay. And then they're like, well, they took pieces from every screenplay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they found out that he's the one who wrote the the nuking of the fridge. (laughs) The part that everyone hated. (laughs) (laughs) It was his part. Yeah. That's awesome. But you're right. Screenplay, yeah, you're right. That's like the first one. One that was interesting to me that uh, I remember back, I think it was for the King's Speech. Okay. And the writer was like an older guy. And it was his first it was like his first one right and he like 
my mom already said I was gonna make it. He had like a cool speech. Yeah, where, yeah, I yeah. remember seeing that. Yeah, okay. yeah. He's like, one yeah. day you're gonna you're gonna make it, kid. Yeah. He was like eighty. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. still not gonna watch the movie. I think mean, it was. Awesome. <laughs> I watched it. It was hard to watch, but uh, I watched it. That just looked like an Oscar bait movie. You know, totally like some it. movies. We're gonna, just, I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. Yeah, some movies just uh, like, all right, this movie's just made for Oscar bait. Right. You know, especially if it's British. Uh, and the writer that won, I didn't realize these are all writers. Holy shit! I, oh, Michael isn't Bull. That funny. Michael Bull. No. Wrote Hurt Locker. He's a Catherine. Uh, oh Bigelow yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Writer. Okay. Now he writes. They wrote Zero Dark Thirty and then uh, Detroit. Yes, yeah, that's her partner. Yeah. For writing. Doesn't he write it with her, or does he write by himself? Uh, I'm sure he probably writes the first. You know, like the first shit. go around, and then I forgot to watch Detroit. You know what, man. Very... I like Hurt Locker and I like Zero Dark Thirty. <sighs> okay, you like Catherine Bigelow. Catherine Bigelow's good. I don't, I don't like her movies. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I like half of that. The first half of like Locker's really good. Point blank. Point blank. Oh, no, I actually like that. <laughs> yeah, it's got... And I like her like her zombie movie. After Dark. Or... Oh, it was after a vampire. Dark. After... Vampire, what did I say? Near Dark. Zombie. Is it, zombie? Isn't it Near Dark? Yeah, it's a Near Dark. Thank near you. Dark. I said I zombie. I at your house. I said zombie? That's what Bill Paxton, right? <sighs> I'm fucking drunk. Huh? That's what Bill Paxton, right? Yeah, Lance Hendrickson. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that at your house. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. No yeah, shit, remember shit. when we used to watch fucking movies at your house all the time? All the fucking time. <laughs> no shit, shit. No Before shit. Catcher, I got married. <sighs> fucking before, idiot. I got domesticated and shit. <laughs> so, all right, here's here's some actors, then. Uh, Tatum O'Neill. Barbara Streisand. Before Anna, my time. Anna Pequin. Yeah, she was like the youngest, wasn't she? She might have been. Before Little Miss Sunshine? Maybe. And then uh, Lupita, I don't know how to pronounce her name, last uh, name. Nyango? Nyango. Oh, yeah, Nyango for 12 Years a Slave. So, Wait, how old was she? Oh, I never saw age. that movie. It, that oh. was just her first movie. Oh, that was her first movie? Yeah, yeah, and she won an Oscar. That's pretty cool. Man, after I saw her in Black Panther, I'm like, man. That's I didn't, cool. like I said, that was a really hard thing to research. I was just like not, like for the time frame I was trying to put into it. Sorry, people listening to Jay Craig, yeah. I just didn't want to give you the effort. Don't worry about it. So but, uh, I just couldn't really figure out, like I wanted, I knew there has got to be some more St- st- uh, statistics about those who have won, and they they showed some stats of like how the the months apart after uh, between movies, months apart between movies for actors before and after they won. Okay. And it was just uh, it, uh, it's just way too many numbers. <laughs> and I was like, I don't fucking know how to numbers, read this shit. Numbers man. in catch I don't. <laughs> no, no, man, that <laughs> don't, shit d- don't relate. That man. shit don't make sense to me, man. I'm just like, I don't, I don't get any of this. This is like fucking. Like fucking numbers to me. I will say though, then that was her first movie, yeah. Lupita Nyong'o. Yeah, and I never saw yeah. that movie. Hey, you but know I, what? I it... saw her in Force Awakens. Not really, but she was uh, Maz Kanata. You also saw her in Last Jedi, of course. But, uh, and you're seeing Han Solo. But you know I know that, right? Oh, that makes sense. But what I saw her in, what I really saw her in, was Black Panther, and I was like, damn. That yeah, is, that yeah, is. A, I didn't. I didn't watch Twelve Years a Slave. That is, and a, I don't think I can. She is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. The, the oh, the women in in uh, in Black Panther uh, are phenomenal. They're like my favorite part of the movie. Is that? That's a good question. Okay, oh. so uh, Wonder Woman was this um, cultural phenomenon for women. Mm-hmm. So uh, people listening at home, Jay and I are are, are white Our dudes. Work. So every superhero looks like us. But for movies like Wonder Woman. Women, you know, were very happy to see like a you know them on the screen, a superhero, a, right. a, a capable woman, yeah, you know, being better or as capable as men right. or whatever. But and, but you know what? Can can, I, can you can you hold that for a second? Yeah. But they didn't make men look stupid. No no, no 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 right? no. Right? Yeah. No, no. Okay. No. Right. They were, that's what that's what's happening nowadays. It seems like, but like no, the last couple movies. No, but, they were equals. She, yeah. Exactly. She was basically okay. just saying. In the movie, she was basically saying, don't worry, I can take care of myself. You don't have to protect me. Right. That's what she, you know. Right. That's not how this works. You right. Know? She right. was, because she's from an island of women. Right. They, they don't, don't have you. dudes. They don't right. fucking care. Right. And I'm better than you. I can yeah. kick your ass, so get the fuck yeah. out. Get the fuck so, out of the way. So it's hard, you know, I thought it was a great I don't movie. don't even want to use that as a shield. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let you do this. <laughs> what you what you want me to do, you have no control over <laughs> But uh, but I love that. I love that people are are getting the same experience that you know that we take for granted. You know, when we see right. Captain America on screen or Iron Man, yeah, yeah. Thing, you know. But you never you never take that into account. 
And the same thing now for Black Panther. Do you think that come next January that people are going to be like, you know, if Black Panther doesn't get nominated, are they going to be the same way? Are they going to be bitchy about it? Yeah. Um, I don't know, because are people bitching about Wonder Woman not being nominated? They were. Yeah. They are? Really? Yeah. Because, I, I mean, I I mean, what do you, just basing it on because, because it did something, I don't know. I don't because know it wasn't a move me, uh, move me. It was a movie. It, w- it wasn't a movie. It was a movement. It was a. Um, it changed things. So you know, if you, if you're putting in that light, if you're if you're if you're putting that that stamp on it, then it almost has to be nominated for best picture, don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that the definition of what it affects people? It's a viewing that affects people. So it didn't affect the 12 people who who voted on it. I don't know how many people voted on yeah, it. Yeah, I'm sure there's more than 12. Yeah, probably a couple hundred. <laughs> It's about five the 12, people. The 12 people. <laughs> These old codgers sitting at home. Oh, I don't like that woman. She stood up to a man. Uh, put on Fox News. <laughs> put on Fox. So, oh, but, okay, well, what the fuck was I just saying? Um, where would that go? Where, where did we take that? <laughs> but if a movie is more than a movie. Right. That should That's be it. better. Thank you. Okay, if you think back to 1977. Star Wars was nominated for Best Picture. Yes, yes But it was. Annie Hall won. Yes. Which, I've seen Annie Hall. It's a fine movie, you know. But Star Wars is Star Wars. That should be Best Picture. Yes, especially when you compare it to Annie Hall. When you compare it to anything. Right. It's but Star especially Wars. Especially Annie Hall. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Woody fucking but, Allen movie, man. Right. But, I mean, it's... It's that best pic. I mean, it's best picture of the, of the century. Yeah, right. No, 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 no. You're right. It's not the best picture of the year. Right. It's the best picture ever um, when it comes down to it. I was reading an article once about the Oscars, and a guy said that they should not have the nominees for best picture should be five years after the movie comes out. Oh. Because then you will actually see, the. The impact, the lasting impact, impact. The lasting impacts. That's a good point. Think of, now they did nominate Avatar. Yep. You and know, that should have won based upon the, the criteria of, of what, being in a movie. what it did yes. for movies. It Not wasn't the best, it wasn't the best picture, but it, it changed things. Right. But this, why isn't that a best picture then? Uh, when, uh, think of 1994, uh, Forrest Gump versus uh, Pulp Fiction. Uh-huh. You know, yep, for both great again. movies. Yep. But Pulp Fiction is that's a seminal moment in movies. Yep. You know that changed things. Yo, know, you're it did change things. So you why know? wouldn't that win? Pulp uh, Forrest Gump didn't change things. No, it was, just, it was a, a fun movie. Fun movie, but Pulp Fiction changed things. Um, the Star Wars changed things. So the uh, Avatar changed things. Those are should be the definition. Of what a best picture is. Yes. Like, Blade Runner, I like, think, didn't change okay. things, but it, like, recreated things. Two years ago, Spotlight. Eh, it's a good movie. Right. You know? Could have been an eight-episode TV series, but whatever. What, what, what was up against it? Mad uh, Max. Mad Max two changed years ago. things. Changed <laughs> things, man. That's what I'm saying. So what is this bullshit just about, you know, five people voting on it, and, I mean, And it's on. talking about your snubs. I, I wouldn't be surprised if... I, Five, ten years from now, people are going to be like, oh, that Blade Runner movie wasn't nominated? Right. Right. You know? Exactly, man. So, but I like the idea Once of, Once like, people start watching it, because I'm sorry, a lot of people haven't seen that movie. That's... It wasn't a huge hit. No, of course not. And you that's know? not going to... People hit. are like, oh, it's three hours long or whatever. Like, yeah. Yeah. That movie wasn't long enough. No, nah, that movie <laughs> kind of kept going, in my opinion, man. No, Just keep fantastic. on going. So I, But, you know, when it comes to movies... <sighs> let's take a time out. No, I don't want to take a time out. Uh, I just had my hands up in the team. I had the team. Oh, get, no, I had the no, team no, no. I, 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 okay, go, 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 go. The fact that movies come out in, you know, December, and then, oh, right, these are the best movies of the year. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make know? any sense. It, it, but, it, but, but it goes back to the fact that we put too much, uh, we give too much credit to the Oscars. Like, it doesn't mean... Like, we talked about earlier. It doesn't mean anything. Right. Like, uh, people get upset if their favorite movie isn't nominated. 
Just like the same way people get upset if their favorite uh, football team doesn't win. Yeah, that's true. That's, you that's know, a very good point. You there. have right. no control people flipping over cars that. over and shit. Yeah. You have no control over you it. You have no control. You have nothing to do with it, you right? Know? So that's interesting because movies that don't win. I mean, is it? Here's the thing. We talk about the uh, um, a movie that affects you or makes a movement, right? It's yeah. about that experience. So if you are a, a greater of an Oscar, right? Mm-hmm. You're the greater of an Oscar. Right? Greater. You're, you're a voter. Okay. I thought you meant like I'm grading the Oscars. <laughs> well, yeah. Voting. Grading. Okay. Voting, right? Oh. I just... I no, don't, I, used, I used the wrong term. Uh, if mean, you're a voter, don't you think they should watch the movies before the Oscars, right? All in succession. Ten days in a row. Ten weeks in a row. Whatever the of, case may be. Of how they and came out? Yes. And not watch them until that moment because if you're not incorporating the movement or the opening aspect and the, the fact that what it does to 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 people like Wonder Woman or um, a Black Panther or you know any other movie that we're talking about that has that of Avatar and Star Wars, if you're not including those in th- that that atmosphere into discussion, then how can you really truly grade what's the best picture? Yeah, that's a good point. I really don't know how they do it. Yeah, like, like what is does your everyone criteria? does everyone just get their screeners all in like November and they have to watch every? I can't believe that though. I can't believe these, these people the who are probably Robert Eberts and, and and the Gene Siskel's people. I mean, they're probably dead now, Both right? Those but, guys are dead. But, but when they were alive, they they probably were voters. I'm assuming. Don't you think? I don't know. They're critics. Yeah. No, no, the voters are winners usually. Really. So I don't know. I honestly, I don't, or, know. I don't you, know who votes. Who votes? Uh, who the fuck votes? People in the academy Easy. are. Um, I think they're winners, nominees, and uh, people in the unions. I so think. So it's not like the sports aspect where it's like the writers and the people who are involved in the. No, that's no, ridiculous. Okay. That you have like sports writers. Uh, okay. You know, nominating so who goes in the sense. Hall of Fame. Yeah. So it's your. Con- it's, it's, it's people it's, it's in the con- industry. It's your contemporaries. Yeah, it's not. It's it's not. It's critics. your contemporaries. Okay. So. Okay, so that makes Golden little, that Globes. Makes a little bit different. Golden Globes is it's the press. So then that, that just so yes, it always becomes that later push that the November movie is like the December movie is the ones that come out. But it's not that different because every award sh- uh, going up to mm-hmm. the Academy Awards is based on critics. There's the LA Critics Association, New York Critics Association, right. the Golden Globes is the foreign press. It's all critic, 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 right? And then it gets to and and that actually changes people's opinions because you know people in the entertainment industry are like oh that movie you know a lot of people like that movie maybe i'll move for that movie well, that, well there's that too is that you're hearing the social media you're hearing the negativity oh you're yeah hearing that last jedi sucks what oh i just had to throw it in there just a little bit just a little bit just a little just a little just see me pause yeah <laughs> how dare you Okay. Fantastic All right. Movie. So, but that, this is really cool because what really makes them vote one way or the other? Because I, I personally, if, if I'm if I'm a person who's voting on the Oscars, I have to incorporate that experience of the first of watching the first time. Yes. And I have but to watch you... nothing before it. I have to watch that by itself, right? You have to like you can't taint it, so you can't watch a bunch in a row, right? No. Like we talked about earlier. No. You have to watch that movie independently. Yes. Give us some time to breathe. Think about it. Give your thoughts. Mark it down. Move to the next one. But it doesn't seem to work like that. Yeah, I want to know it how. Seems to I be, know why. It seems to be momentum. Yeah, see, you know? Know, that's the problem I have with it. They, you know, oh, this this movie's winning all these awards, all these awards, all these awards, and then they're like, oh, well, then that movie's going to win Best So Picture. why should a movie that comes out in January, February, and March that doesn't have the clout, right, or the, the marketing, or the producer that can get them the better release date, Right? Why should they be penalized when they're as good or a lot of times better? Not that a lot of movies come out in January are are, are better movies. Because <laughs> yeah. usually it's a stomping ground of bullshit. Yeah. We've seen so actually it was a pretty good year this year, but ultimately January? It, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah. like nothing that comes out in January, dude. It's like nothing. But even something that comes out in February and March, you know, but you you're not really in consideration until the latter. That part of that's the year. changing though. That's changing because there seem are... like it though because Wonder Woman and Black no Panther, not not, I not as far as nominated. not as far as awards are concerned, but as far as quality is concerned. No 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 no. You're right. January quality, and right. February used to be just 
dumping ground. I did this on one of the podcasts by my, my first one by myself was January this year actually had some some pretty interesting movies. There is yeah, there's not enough uh, release dates for movies to come out. So now they're not just dumping but the shit. But there were shit. more going on when we were kids. There were more movies coming out. So how are there enough release dates? I don't think so. I think they're... I think when we were kids that just every movie just seemed like... Good? Yeah. <laughs> like uh, an event, you know? Do kids th- th- our age back then, like the kids that are whatever... How are that you are awesome? That? Yeah, right. So, in the if, if you took our age back then and put them in now, what what is their what 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 is their take on movies like right now? Like, is everything good? Like we do because I everything in the eighties, the the mid to late eighties was awesome. Oh, the whole eighties was awesome movie wise. Yeah, they were. Even the well, you know, I, but a lot of stuff was made that you're like would never be made now. You know. Oh sure. You know, there's so much crazy stuff, but and a lot of stuff. Not and and we and we saw it a lot on cable or we rented it from video stores. Most we, of it. We never yeah. thought about like, you know, oh, this movie just came out this week, this Friday, and it's gone, you know, two Fridays. Yeah, yeah, around, no, we, you know. Well, yeah, the, the, it the would, I, it was on, out. yeah, it was on HBO like a right. hundred times. You know, that movie's right. awesome because you right. see it a hundred times. We have so much information. Like, I don't even right know now, if like The ridiculous. Last Starfighter was even a hit movie, but man, that movie was amazing. Right. I saw everything it a thousand in the eighties, dude. Everything in the eighties was awesome, man. There was this. That's why. Ah, dude, that's not what we talk about sometimes. Is the A's but in this fucking show. Kids now, <laughs> kids now. I only have two to two to judge off. Was my nephews and one's seventeen and one's fourteen. The seventeen-year-old will watch anything I tell him to watch, and he's usually like, yeah, he's that, the big that, Jaws fan, yeah, right? That, no, no, no. That's the younger one. Oh, that's the younger one. What no, how old is he now? He's thirteen or fourteen. Oh, okay, it's the oldest. One. Okay, the older one will watch anything. And he will sit there, he will watch the shittiest movie you could possibly think of, and he'll sit there and watch the whole thing and be like, yeah, not bad. So he'll watch The Room. He probably will, like, unironically. <laughs> Where uh, the Jaws kid will... The Jaws kid. Yeah. Well, he has to know the movie going in, and, like, he saw Black Panther, and he knew the whole thing, and he oh, was like, okay. he's like, oh, that was fantastic, you know? Okay. But you can't be like... Hey, watch this crappy movie on Netflix that you know you never heard of, like Hellraiser. <laughs> he right. would never sit there and watch it, you know. Okay. Where the other one will be. Like, oh, okay. So there's there's a dichotomy yeah. there between the two. Okay. So cool. the older one is yeah, more that's like gonna be my how kids. We, that's yeah, gonna be my kids. I have one that's gonna be the movie guy, the movie kid that's gonna watch movies with me. Anything I want to watch, he's gonna watch with mm-hmm. me. The other one, he's gonna be tempted to, but he's it's gonna be certain things. Yeah, he he would more rather watch like oh I don't want to watch something new I want to watch something I already like yeah you know? yeah, yeah, yeah 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 where when we were kids it was just like new movie new movie yeah, new yeah. movie Dude. new movie oh that's that's okay this, this really yeah let's not let's not go down there okay so we're talking about movies that don't okay we were we're not even talking about this but I'm just I'm just gonna segue into but well, before you go on talking about like the popularity contest and everything about yeah. Oscars please um. The the one that stands out most is uh, Shakespeare in Love, and it was all Harvey Weinstein uh, buying uh, trade ads, almost like a presidential election, buying ads. Yeah. Uh, you know, trying to get everyone to vote for it should never have been best picture. 1999, right? I think it was the 1998 movies, but it wasn't. It, yeah. Wars, 1998. Yeah, it should have been Saving Private Ryan. Like Absolutely. Spielberg won. Spielberg won. Best director, but Shakespeare in Love won best. That, that's the funny thing I always find when it and comes to that that award. If you win best director, that movie should be the best picture, don't you think? Usually <laughs> was almost almost a hundred percent of the time before that it was really yeah. So unequivocally, it was there was always... once or twice it would happen differently. Okay. Yeah, but okay. the best director made the best picture. Right, it went it hand in hand. Seemed... So it's like almost like why do you have both? Like it's... yeah, like if. Someone got nominated for Best Picture but not Best Director. That that was like a big deal. But that, okay, no, that's, that's a funny thing because we, earlier we talked about. Um, but now it's different. There's ten. You can have ten movies, the, but the, you can only have five directors. But back before that rule, if if someone got nominated for Best Picture but not Best Director, people were like, "Oh, well, they snubbed me on purpose because it was like." Uh, I remember early '90s when. Um, Barbara Streisand didn't get nominated for Prince of Tides. 
Oh. And Billy Crystal made like a big deal of it on stage. Oh, did he really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and you knew, and you knew if that person did get nominated for Best Director, that movie was not winning Best Picture. Oh, right on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, there was, uh, I, I had a note, and I can't, I can't, I don't know where the fuck the piece of paper went. Um, but it has something to do with that, where it didn't, something didn't win Best, it, they won Best Director. It was LA, Com- LA, LA uh, La La Land. Mm-hmm. He won Best Director. Yes. Did not need to win Best Picture, though. Yes. Right? So then there's there's that, right? And it, yeah, and it was around that Saving Private Ryan. Where no, that's, this was where, last year. No, where that started. Before right. that, it was almost guaranteed. If you really? won Best okay. Director, You're gonna win you best won picture. Best Picture. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's where people are like, huh? Right. Cause, yeah, because I mean, Saving Private Ryan, I mean, that movie is leaps and bounds the movie of Shakespeare in Love. I mean, it's just a... It's the Best Picture. Yeah, I mean, could you... Uh, Thinking about how when you look back at movies now, do you ever go back, oh man, I would like to watch Shakespeare in Love again. I I, I, pa- I pass it by it on Netflix, and I'm like, eh. But I mean, would you recommend, <laughs> like, movies people have to watch, hmm. Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. Not Shakespeare movies in Love. I have. <laughs> yeah. Saving Private Ryan. I mean, Shakespeare in Love was a, it was a fine movie. It was entertaining. Yeah, but, but not, it's not Best Picture. But that's where it got political. Or, right. You know. Okay. Okay, so now that's a great point. And let's talk about these snubs now. Because now you're talking, you talked about two. You talked about the Pulp Fiction losing out to Four It wasn't a snub. It was, they were neck and neck for Best yeah, Picture. That's a snub. Well, not they didn't winning. win. That's a snub. No, a snub's they not getting won. nominated at all. Yeah, I think a snub could be even not winning. For instance... Raiders of the Lost Ark, not winning to Chariots of Fire. I've never even seen Chariots of Fire. The song is boring. If, have you slept? <laughs> have you slept? Well, that's what I always thought of. I remember it always being on cable when I was like six, seven years old. Uh huh. And I was like, nope, <laughs> nope. No, no. That's just I mean shows you it doesn't just because you're nominated and you're in that category. There still can be snubbish. Snubbish, snubbery. There's snubbery. Snubbery, right? Okay, so let's talk about snub. Let's talk about some of the greatest snub. We talked about two. Yeah. Pulp Fiction what do you got? should what have you got? won. How about Dan- uh, Goodfellas losing... Over Dances with Wolves. Yep. Dances with Wolves. Dances with Wolves. Now, you want to talk about sleeping. Now, I, I now I will say... That is a boring I, I, answer. I'm, okay, I, I, br- I, I bring this one up because I'm not going to argue that Goodfellas is a lesser movie, but I really enjoy Dances with Wolves. There's... I'm also a Western fan. You're also drunk. No, no, I, I, I like this when I was so Dances with Wolves is boring as shit. I watched it when it came out. Get the fuck out I of watched my house. it in... I, I can't believe you said I, that. I had to watch it in You're English right, it class. No, it's, it's just boring. It is boring if you think about it. It, it, it. In a way, it's boring. I love it. I love it. Because I like Westerns. I like that slow, that quiet, that... It just There's, it, there's, there's an atmosphere quality to it. I like the story. It's Pocahontas. It's Avatar. It's the same story. But I really enjoy Dance with Wolves. I, but I can't argue that. Oh, I'm sorry. As he's describing it, I just hit the God microphone because it. I fell asleep. He did. Oh, that's he just weird. Fell because and hit the just microphone. that that is no. Okay. Goodfellas is amazing. It is, and actually, uh, on more viewings, Goodfellas gets better. It it does. Yeah, Goodfellas it never does. gets old. It's, it's Goodfellas a is amazing. So we, we had a movie this year that didn't get nominated. I mean, I'm not talking amazing. I'm talking my top five favorite movies of all time. Oh, that's how good Goodfellas. Oh is. wow! See, it's not in my top five. It might not even be in my top ten. Wow. Well, you know. Hey, there's a lot. There's a lot of movies I have in my top yeah, ten. Yeah. <laughs> that are awesome. And you have um, terrible taste in movies. God damn you! So as, a, your, as your listeners know, there's a movie. <laughs> There's a movie. I'm gonna just gonna keep skirting that one around. Uh-huh. So there's a movie that wasn't nominated this year. It was called Blade Runner, 2049. Yes. There was a movie 1982 that wasn't nominated called Blade Runner. And it, you know what won that year? 82 Tootsie. Gandhi or 81. Uh, Blade Runner is 80. 82. Every year, Harrison Ford was doing a movie, it seemed like. 81 um, would have been Chariots of Fire, wouldn't it? No, 80... 80 oh, fuck me, yes. No, 80, 80 yeah. was Raiders of the Lost Ark. No, 80 is Empire. 81 is em- 81, Raiders. 80s is Empire. And 82 is uh, Blade Runner. 82 is Blade Runner. So, okay. uh, yeah, because it's, it's... 
Dar- it's Empire, Raiders. Then Jedi. And then Blade and then Blade Runner and then, then Jedi. Jedi yeah. yeah. So Blade Runner was not nominated. Gandhi won Best Picture. Gandhi. Blade Runner wasn't even won. But it don't was also very it, it was ill it was ill received. And it wasn't the same Blade Runner you've seen. That's true too. Yes. Yeah, you didn't it wasn't the film exactly. It's okay. the Ugh. How about the other one that wasn't nominated? It's with his voiceover that he doesn't want to do. Oh, which God, he purposely yeah. did terribly. Yeah, he takes it. yeah I, I did not know that. Here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. When I first watched Blade Runner, I was in my I was watching with Ryan Corliss back in junior in Grissom Junior High. I fell asleep on the couch in the opening credits. He's a Mormon. He's a Mormon. I fell asleep in the opening credits. I was on a Harrison Ford. Kick. I was watching. Oh, you everything fell asleep during the opening credits. I fell asleep so early on because oh. it's a very tranquil movie. It's very quiet. It's it is. It's very melodic. I it's, remember when I rented oh, it. Oh like, man, Ugh. I could not like two thousand one. Very hypnotic. Yeah. And so I fell asleep the first couple times, and then when I watched it in college, I I I rented the version. Did not know this, but it was the version with Harrison Ford's, um, uh, 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 voiceover. Voiceover. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm similar. Okay. I, I watched it. it. I, I watched it. the director's cut first, and I was like, this is boring shit. I can't right. Then I rented it with the director's cut. I mean, not with the voiceover. And I was like, oh, this movie makes sense now. Yeah. And now, now you watch it without that. You're yeah. like, it's even better. Yeah. It's even better. Like, they weren't wrong <laughs> to include that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's funny when you look back in time. Like, what, what that picture was that year? Yes. That year, it wasn't the best picture. What was? But over Gandhi? time... Gandhi? Gandhi's a really good movie. But over time... I had to watch Blade it. Runner I had to watch a better Gandhi movie. in social studies in ninth grade. And I was like, man, I watched this movie. It was always on HBO and I always changed channel. But I was, like, forced to watch it right. at Carlton. And I was like, oh. And then we watched it and I was like, oh, that's pretty funny. I never seen the, I never seen the whole Gandhi. Yeah, I'm like, that's a pretty good movie. Yeah. Uh, but th- that's funny because you, if you, so every movie that was voted on, you should watch it tw- like 15 years later Yeah, and re-vote it because I think every, they said, I think they said like five years later. Yeah. Like five to, years. Yeah. Like yeah, to yeah. see what the, uh, the impact would be in pop culture. Yeah. Like, that's of the movie, really cool. Yeah. I like that. Okay. But those are some movies that weren't nominated. Let's stick with the nominated ones. So, you know, now you have Pulp Fiction, Lost in Forrest Gump. Also. Wait. Wasn't Shawshank uh, nominated that year? Or was um, that 93? I have Shawshank on here. Hang on. Uh, where is my Shawshank information that here? That might have been 93. Or that might have been 90, 93. I have Shawshank on here somewhere. It'll come out eventually. Mm. Uh, okay, but okay. so we, you okay. said Quip Fiction. Quentin Tarantino also lost to Zemeckis for Best Director. Okay. Now. That's fine because Zemeckis is a great director. He's a great director. But I'm sorry, the direction, I mean, it might even be just the editing of Quentin, of, uh, of Pulp Fiction that makes that. You know, like, it, was that his direction to make it so No, slow? it was his writing. It was his writing. Yeah, so, like, it didn't win writing. It was, either, it was it. dialogue. Man. Yeah, exactly. Because you never had a movie with the, like that with that kind of dialogue. Right. Okay, I, I can't find, eventually it's going to come out here. Because they, they did win screenplay, you, you know. It did win Tree Play. Yeah. Okay, that, so that's important. It definitely should win there. But Wait, I, I'm Tarantino pretty sure... has never won director, did he? Tarantino, it was no... Because uh, as far as I'm concerned, his masterpiece is Inglorious Bastards. His masterpiece? Uh, if you take his entire overall... Really? That is his best movie. Huh. Like, I'm talking front to back, story, dialogue, direction... That is his best movie. My favorite movie of his is Jackie Brown. Oh, which oh. is which is actually the movie when I saw it, I hated. Okay, so Bobby, you you bring up an interesting thing here because as you're talking, I'm thinking, what is my favorite? And my first was Jackie Brown. What? Yeah. Oh my god, I thought I was the only one. No, oh. I I love Jackie Brown more and more the more I've seen it. First time I saw it, hated it. Exactly. Boring as shit. Bob, there's not a, there's not a lot of reasons. I mean, why we're good friends, but there's here's a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> love that movie, but it's also an Elmore Leonard book, and I've read. Every no, I don't. I don't, I don't fucking care about I've that. I don't every, know. All I know is that movie was fucking so good. I hated it when I saw it because it came after Pulp Fiction. Yeah. And you were you wanted to you see wanted it. You wanted more Pulp and Fiction. And you're like, no. Because after you see Pulp Fiction in 1994, Everything you immediately go, 
What else has this guy done? Oh, this movie called Reservoir Dogs. I saw that. I saw that first. Really? Yeah. No, nobody I knew did. I worked at the video. I worked at the movie movie theater showcase when that came out. I didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Timeline doesn't add up. It, it's there. <laughs> you know why? I remember it vividly. Okay. Right. So uh, I, I okay. There was this, we had security guards, right? The ones with guns. I think they were they were still security guards. I don't think they were police officers. So they had guns. There were one of the guys was standing in front of the theater, and I walked up. I was like, "Hey, man, what you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "Yeah, yeah." It was a younger kid. He goes. I'm this whole this story movie. is oh, a lie. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is a fucking true fucking goddamn story. And he goes... I worked there too. I don't remember anyone with fucking I guns. I didn't work there when you were there. You were yeah, gone I there when I started. you. Yes. And you were gone. But I'm saying I remember security guys with guns. I was there when they did. Oh, oh. Shortly after you. Well, very, that's probably why they got the very guns. Very shortly after, after I got you. Fired. Raphael was there too. No wonder. Me, Mike, and Raphael together. Trouble. Grace. Okay, so anyway, he was there watching and he goes, ah, it's this fucking crazy movie and there's this guy cutting his fucking people's ears off and I was like, ah, I'm not watching that shit. And I watched <laughs> <laughs> I saw it a while back and I, I loved it. I loved it. Okay, back on point, back on point. So you had the Pulp Fiction thing. How about this one? <laughs> you know that Alfred Hitchcock never won an Oscar? Uh, really? Was he ever nominated? I, I believe so. For what? Don't know. Good. Good. Yeah, good, good notes. Lucky we have that Google. Good notes. That Google machine. A Wonderful Life lost to the best years. Go- Wonderful Life was nominated because that was a flop. I know. No, I, I actually might be on the note, the not the not nominated ones, but it, it, the one that won was uh, Best Years of Our Lives. Oh, yeah. That's a great movie mm-hmm. I watch every Christmas. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Apocalypse Now was not nominated, but lost to Kramer and Kramer, Kramer won that year. Okay. Okay. Poignant movie, very timely, right? What, it was what, timely, I guess, yeah. for the eighties. Yep, yeah. uh, late seventies, wasn't it? That would have been what, 70, 79? 79. Yeah. Apocalypse. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, Edward Norton, American History X. Yeah. Was he Roberto nominated? Roberto Benigni, Life is Beautiful, won that year. Yeah, no, they just wanted to see what he would do if he won. Edward Norton's a good, 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 good actor. But he did He's win never, for Primal Fear. Yeah, that was like his, one of his first movies, too. Yeah, was that on your list of first movies? No, it was. I don't think it was his first movie. First time but, I ever saw yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sure he was in something before then, but... Fuck, what a great yeah. movie. Man, those um, mid-90s movies with those twist endings, man. Yeah. Oh, that yep. was a good time. Exactly, That right. was a good time. Um, what I have here, I don't have my notes proper. Again, I was writing quickly here. Um, Gone with the Wind one. That makes sense. Wizard of Oz was on the same year. 39? 39, I think. Okay. I think 30, 30 something. Um, Searchers, which well, you haven't that, seen yet, a, which is over there. That's a tough one, though. Gone with the Wind and Wizard of Oz. They're both. Uh, they are, but I mean, they usually when they talk about inflation and the movies that, you know. Gone with the Wind Gone is with the always most, up there. So uh, I can't really fault that one. Yeah. You're right, because I think Wizard of Oz. Has lasted longer, you know. Because, it has more of an because impact. Because it's all ages. Yeah, right. It's lasted forever, and everyone yeah, passes on. No one, not everyone passes on to go with the wind. Yeah, it's a very long, very drawn out romantic saga. Right? Casablanca one, right? Nineteen forty. I, I don't have like every winner that won here. Wait, that but, should win like every year. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what? I, that wasn't a snub. We're talking about snubs, right? But I just sure. want to make sure. That I don't know if it won. I don't know if Casablanca won. But that's one of those ones that it might not have resonated that year or years later, but has since, you know, just it's transcendent time where it's always it's always going to be good. It's always going to be the best. It's always going to be one that you always. I don't know that if that's true, though. You don't. I haven't watched I haven't watched it with like random people. Like if if you don't get the World War Two background before we entered the war, like, does it make sense? Yeah. Like, it makes sense to me because I, I, so. I kind of know the history. I can't see it. I can't say that, actually. Um, but, uh, hey. But, I, I mean. It's a fucking I, awesome movie. Yeah. You know. I, if, I didn't know sh- about if, it. If, I, yeah, that's true. If The Shape of Water could get nominated. And that's, <laughs> that's just about love between a if, woman and a fish man. Okay. Well, there, there's that. I didn't. Thanks for the spoilers there, Mr. Bob. Okay. Here. How about this one? No, that's. What the movie's about? That's not a spoiler. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Love the fish. Okay, that's the movie's about. Um, Oliver by Carol Reed. 
Gross. One over Kubrick, 2001. That makes sense. Because think about the people that were probably voting. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're, like, like, they're, they're, they're probably still pretentious. Like the, isn't that a musical? I think so. I love her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Network. Two thousand. And... Even when 2001... Were you with me when we were at that bar and 2001 was playing? Yes. Yes. And I was like, I just want to see you watch it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just for the that, visuals. Um, oh, yeah. Well, we're for your, uh, Tina's birthday. Uh-huh. All right. So how about this? Network mm-hmm. and Taxi Driver both lost to... What year? What year? What year? That would have been 75? Rocky? Yep. You're good. You're good. Bitch, you good. <laughs> That's yeah. good. Oh, I like you. that. Yeah, so uh, Network's a great movie. Rocky's a great movie, but Trashy Driver's also good. That's a, that's a good combo there. I guess uh, I can't really fault that one. Yeah, because my nephews still watch all the Rockies. They don't watch all the you taxi know, drivers. So my, my <laughs> they don't wife. watch Taxi Driver 6 against when he's against the Russian Taxi Driver. <laughs> <laughs> or Taxi Driver 9 when he's against uh, Trump. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. So, uh, my oldest watched Taxi or watched Taxi Driver. How old is your oldest? He's six. Okay. He watched Rocky with Tina. Just to give people context. They, they've heard if if they're new, not if they if they're new, then yeah, he's six. Every episode so, could be someone's ex- first. Hey, Bob, thank you. You're so smart. So, um, what's I saying? Uh, he watched Rocky. So what was he doing a couple days later after that? Your One six hour- year old wasn't watching Taxi Driver. Yeah, he's watching Rocky. Right. One arm push ups. Nice. He was showing us how you... I was like, dude, that is so fucking awesome. You're doing one-arm push-ups. That's so cool. Rocky. So him. He weighs like 10 pounds. I could do one-arm push He's 40. Push-up. I had him on my shoulders today. He's Regardless. not 10 pounds. I, I could do one-arm arm push-ups I wish he was 10 I, pounds. If I would uh, Raging Bull. Scorsese lost to... Uh, was it 79 or 78? That would have been before then. Way before then. Mm, no. Raging, Raging Bull. Bull. No, it had been 70, 78. It might have been, I think it was like 70... Um, it was after Rocky, because that's why it didn't win. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay, you know what won? Uh, you gotta give me the year. I can't. Uh, I'll give the director. Who? Robert Redford. Oh, Reds. No. Nope. No, that's uh, one that's, of the... That's coming up next. Ah, uh, Robert Redford? Mm-hmm. No, I don't know. Ordinary People. He directed that? Yep. He won Best Director. Oh, that's 1980. Is it 80? Yeah. Raging Bull's 1980? You're right. Why do I keep thinking it's in the 70s? You're right. It's in 1980. That's right. And the reason Raging Bull didn't win is because Rocky won four years earlier and they didn't want to have two boxing boxing movies back to back. That's the bullshit. That's the politics. Right. It's like, oh, we can't have that. What do you mean you can't have that? What movie are you watching now? Ordinary People or Rocky? Or, I mean, uh, Raging Exact. I haven't even seen Ordinary People. Because you know what? I don't like feelings. (laughs) (laughs) What the? (laughs) Then why are we together right now? Um, How about this one? Timothy Hutton won for Best Supporting Actor. Yeah, yeah. There's someone who went on to... Decent things. He went on to Turk 182, and he taps was before that. Oh, before that, yeah. wasn't Kevin Bacon in that? Tom Kevin? Cruise was. Oh, Kevin Bacon might have been. Tom Cruise is the guy that's shooting up everything at the end. Oh, I like Timothy Hutton though. Taps is a good movie. I like him in uh, Beautiful Girls. Timothy Hutton. Yeah, you see Beautiful Girls, 1993. I know the movie. I've never seen it. It's got uh, a bunch of like young. It's it's supposed to be like a ten year reunion. Oh no! I'm but it but it almost seems like a twenty year reunion because they're all like listening to like seventies music and stuff. It's like mm, it doesn't make sense. Like the 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 I think the um, screenplay might have been written like ten years earlier. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's really I, good, see, I see it on a shelf yeah. somewhere wait, yeah. waiting to be found. Like waiting all these guys, found. yeah, all these guys look like they're almost 40 <laughs> and they're, oh. <laughs> they're going to their 10 tw- year reunion. <laughs> right. It's like we're listening to uh, ABBA. That makes sense. ABBA? Yeah, ABBA. Okay. All right. So um, Raiders, Why ABBA? Spielberg lost to directing wise. Was he nominated for best director for Raiders? 
Yes, I believe he so. He should have. He that lost was his, to... That was his first... He was nominated for Raiders, E.T., and then Schindler's List, I believe. Uh, oh, this is a spam between E.T. and Schindler's List? Yes. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, Color Purple. Color Purple. Yep, okay. So he might not have been nominated for E.T. Okay, I don't think he was. Okay. Uh, but Raiders, he was. He lost to... You said the movie earlier. Just that not long ago. 81? That would have been 81, yeah. Craver vs. Craver? Nope. Ordinary People? We just did that one. That was 80. Remind me. Uh, see. It's a color. Color purple? <laughs> Racist. <laughs> it's no. a color? Oh, it's a color. Reds. Reds. Warren Beatty. Warren he Beatty. lost to Warren Beatty for Best oh. Director. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and I bought that movie for my mom on DVD. I have not seen that motherfucker, but I love the fuck out of Ragers. Raiders. Raiders? Ragers. Ragers. Okay, here's a couple more as we're getting um, long in the tooth here and long in the drinks. Wait, my beer's getting warm. Yeah, drink. Uh, okay, we got... Um, here's a good one. All right. Al Pac- okay, so this is a supporting actor. I forget the year because it's seven. I didn't write the years down. Al Pacino, James Caan, Robert Duvall, all Best Supporting Actor for Godfather 1. For Godfather 1? Godfather 1. Al Pacino? Yeah. He would. She should have been the main actor. James Caan. No, they were all supporting... Uh, Brando was the best, best actor. But he wasn't the main character. Yes, he Al was. Al Pacino no. was. No, they are all supporting actors in this Who movie. Who was in the movie the most? Al Pacino. Brando was. No, it was Brando's he movie. He's the Godfather. In it. No, it's Brando. Yeah. So they lost to Joel something from Cabernet. <laughs> Cabernet. <laughs> Joel something from Cabernet. All three of those motherfuckers. Well, you lost. know why? Because well, Pacino and Khan split the vote. That's what happens. That's what's going to happen with Rockwell and Woody Harrelson. You have two great actors. Uh, 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 well, because yeah, Duvall's not going to win that one, right? Yeah, he's not winning that one. No. Actually, that year, everyone should have won everything from The Godfather. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying... But, but how are you looking at it? Like, Al Pacino should have won Best Actress. At 72? Yeah, 72, I believe. 72? Yeah. That's just fucking crazy that all three of them lost to this motherfucker. Right? That's bullshit. Brando, I, I see. Brando should have been supporting actor. I, I think, I think no, Pacino should have won. Should have been an actor. If I have, and, and but I'm, I know and, Pacino and, hasn't and won. And if anyone who's listening to J. Craig knows, my information not be might might not be right. No, my no, no. You're right. right. No, you're right. He did win yeah. as best actor, Brando. Brando, right. but he wasn't the main character. Michael Corleone was the main character in the movie. But he, he was our, he was our, well, I'll put it this way. I think Brandon was the main character. Al Pacino was our, our vehicle in the movie. Our, he was, he was our, our window into the movie. Yeah. He and I know, we and I know that he never won because he didn't win till Scent of a Woman. And then after that, he just kept doing that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. He, he did the job. And then. The, oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Except for. It started Brasco. with him and then Johnny Depp continued that trend. Mm-mm. Yeah, I mean, he's always Jack Sparrow now. Okay, <laughs> let's continue. So, listen, this is a good one. We talked about this movie earlier, King's Speech, right? King's yeah, I Speech. never saw it. King's Speech 1. I saw it. Watched it with Tina. I watched it. Here's what, didn't, here's what didn't win that year. You ready? What year was this? Oh, fuck. I, fuck you. Okay. I'll, tell you two, I'll tell you. 2001. I'll I tell you. Know. Tell me who didn't win. Black Swan. Keep going. Inception. 2009. And the Fighter. David O. Russell. Mm. Good movie. Yeah, that's fine. Toy Story 3. Never saw it. <laughs> I don't watch cartoons. Sorry. Fuck out of my room. Um, I don't have children. Social network. I watch porn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be 2009. Right? I have children. I watch porn. Um, social network. Gross. They all lost to the King's Speech. Whoops. That was a fact. Uh, Social Network. Well, okay. You think that one should have won? I think Black Swan should have won. Black Swan's my call that year. No. I no. love that fucking movie. 
I liked Social Network, but not nearly as much as Black Swan. If I had to pick one of those to watch again... It would not be The King's Speech, right? That's the whole point. Okay, no. yeah. next. Yeah. Sam what Jackson, Pulp Fiction. Yes, he did not win. You know who won? Uh, 1990 Best Supporting Actor? Yep. Uh, I remember watching it. I might watch that. It's a, it's a, it's a mock, doc, mockumentary of a movie from, God, am I saying the 30s or 40s maybe? A mockumentary? Kind of. It's like a making of a movie from, God, when is, I'll just say the, the name of the movie that they're making, uh, Planet from Planet. Oh, Earth it was, uh, oh, what's his name from uh, Ed Wood? It's Ed Wood, um, Martin Landau. Martin Landau. Okay, let's just get All to the right. chase. Yeah. So, and they Cause claimed... Because he's, he's old. And that was one of the first, I think, they said that was like that career Oscar thing. Yeah. Where they gave it because he he, 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 he deserved it. Right? And he is a good actor. He no, he's... Yeah, he is. But he just... It depends on what you're up against. Sometimes you just... You're not in the best movie, right? You're not, right, you're not, but, you're not the best But when, pe- when people do talk about Ed Wood, they do talk about Martin Yeah, Landau, and he's yeah. really good. Um, and no one knew that that was going to be... We were going to have 30 years of, or 25 years of Sam Jackson saying motherfucker after that. Yeah, time. right. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's such a, such a subjective thing. It's about that time, right? But that's right. what it's supposed to be. Right. It's the best movie of 2018. It's not the best of 2018 in 2030. Yeah. Like, nobody knew 20 years from that, that that guy, that same dude was going to be on TV going, get a Capital One card, motherfucker. Motherfucker. You know? And then you think of Jules Winfield. Yeah. Right? It's like, yeah. you're that guy. He, You always think of him, and he's he's taking that. But he's not Johnny Depp did. No. Like, he's still interesting. He's different, but he still has that same Sam Jackson thing. Because I think that even before, if you've seen him in anything before Quentin Tarantino dialogue, he's still Sam Jackson. Yeah, he has a delivery that just... And then with... Of course, once you mix that once with you give that, Tarantino. Yeah, once you give that... Ugh. Once you mix in a couple motherfuckers in right. there... Shit's God, over, I man. just... He's, he's got uh, some chemistry. Johnny but. Depp didn't Johnny Depp it. Johnny Depp didn't Johnny Depp it? No. Johnny yeah, Depp did. was a very... Um, Johnny Depp was never Johnny Depp in a movie. He always just went right into a movie and was always a weird, different character. When he became that character in Pirates of the Caribbean, and he got all that acclaim, and he got nominated for Best Actor. Fuck you. You know? He did. Really? Yeah. And uh, he kind of, after that, it kind of, I think it kind of fucked with him, where he would just dive into weird characters, but more so. That's what I'm saying, is like he became... Jack but he Sparrow was always, everything. but he was always weird character. Not that he was, John, not that he's Jack Sparrow in every movie, but the the idea of that he's just going so far out there. Yeah, but 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 before that, even he always was weird character. He was always weird, but not like like he picked this? characters that were bizarre. Okay, you that actually, one that one well, just kind of well, clicked with people. You know, I gotta bring someone out who doesn't have some, as much common sense. Um, so next time I can have better arguments because you bring us some good points. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you I know mean, that, that that's a good point. That's and a good point. I, and I and I I like Johnny Depp. I like the chances he used to take before he became a huge movie star before yeah. Pirates. And because that's what that was what he made him like the big star, right? Yeah, he was always in small movies, and by far, in my opinion, his best movie is Donnie Brasco, where he's just being a dude. He's just be a dude that's terrified of getting caught. Yeah, but he's not being a character. He's not Edward. No, he's not Edward Scissorhands. No, that's, hands, okay, fucking you know? yes, yes, because he's actually a real fucking person. Yeah. He's not a cartoon. He's not a caricature. Yeah, he's not an Ed, uh, Tim Burton cartoon he's not a, character. He's a caricature of himself, man, and that's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I, I told totally... But he was doing that before Pirates, and then he just exasperated... Or, exaggerated it afterwards. No, okay, we got but, exasperated. But, but, but I've always seen like good stuff from him. Like, he's yes, a great actor. Yes, he's gone out there. Right? Yes, he's... But they've all been different. So before Jack Sparrow and all his outlandishness, right? Yeah. In the field. But, right, but that was just very different to... though. Yeah. Right? I just feel that for some reason once the Jack Sparrow thing came it's like it's almost like money. That just has stayed. And I don't see anything different from him anymore. Like, money. he always was reaching into he something different. Got used to that money. 
I mean, sure. I mean, the guy's been around forever. He's been around since Nightmare on Elm Street, 1981, right? Yeah, I mean, his big thing was 21 Jump Street. Do I got that year right? 84. Ah, fuck. I thought I was real smooth there, <clears> but... <throat> okay, yeah. so Francis Ford Coppola did not win The Godfather. What? You know who won? No. Bob Fosse for Cabernet. Oh, Cabernet. <laughs> I don't even know what the movie is. So did he at least win for oh, Godfather 2? I don't think he ever won an Oscar in that regard. No. Yeah, I, was at, I looked at snubs, and it, that wasn't listed. Come on, wasn't man. Listed. Hey, man. I'm editing a fucking goddamn oh, four-hour video game part. Roger Deakins has not won an Oscar. He has not. That's yeah, to so he's, got, he's going to. He better. I think the people that vote just don't understand. What was the movies that were nominated here? Hang on. Cinematography for this year. Blade Runner, Darkest Hour by, I don't know, Dunkirk. Mm-hmm. Don't know who he's working with these days. Mudbound. That's probably going to win because I never heard of it. Mudbound? Mudbound. And then uh, The Shape of Water. Shape of Water. One, would. two, three, four, five. Yeah. I cannot believe that it's even close. But but if Roger Dickens has a win for that movie because it's a fucking sequel or some bullshit like that, right? Fuck you, Oscars. So <laughs> Blade Runner obviously didn't win to Gandhi, who wasn't nominated. And then Jaws... Was not nominated, but you know what won that year? 1975. Right? Jaws was nominated. Not for Best Picture, was it? I'm best pretty director. sure it was. Not, not for Best Director. Okay. So Spielberg wasn't directed for Jaws, which because, makes sense because it was made they, in the end of they the couldn't, uh, well, it was made in the They couldn't room. ignore it because it was the biggest movie of all time. Then what the fuck are we talking about with Avatar and all this other bullshit, man? You can't... Fucking just pick a fucking goddamn moment where you can say it works, and then it doesn't work in the other ways. Yes. That's bullshit. You have a bunch of 75-year-old people going, it's not singing in the rain. You know? It's not the sound of music. But if you you say Jaws was incorporated into the Oscars because of its box office success and the big bullshit, that bullshit. Well, they they thought they couldn't ignore it. Okay, but then why can't... Just like Star Wars. Well, okay, well... Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take that down a notch, Mr. Fucking Common Sense over here. Because Star Wars was nominated. You know what changed that? Well... Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, uh, Fellowship, Two Towers, both nominated. Right. Everyone knew it wasn't going to win until... It won un- King, Until the trilogy yeah. ended. Yeah, he won Best Picture, didn't he? Or Best Director? Both. For Return of the King. Did he really? Yeah, because it wasn't for Return of the King. It, it was, was for, the, for the whole Yeah, I know. And you know what? I'm fine with that. Oh, I am too. Yeah. I mean, because that was, that was, that was, that's that's something special. If Lucas would then have... Then why doesn't Lucas fucking If Lucas make would have been able to do that with Empire, Return of the Jedi, they would have been... Then ready. he should have made that with fucking Sith. Number three, dude. The sixth movie of, of the fucking Star Wars saga, he should be winning Best Fucking Director. Just for fucking having... To make those fucking six movies. Which is better mm. than fucking episode eight. Fuck you, bitch. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Can I just run this down for you right now? Please, run it down. Okay, this is Finish Roger Deakins. Um, Shawshank Redemption. Nominated. Oh Fargo, nominated. Kundun, nominated. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Nominated. The Man Who Wasn't There, nominated. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. He didn't win Best Cinematography or No, for uh, oh, brother, brother, Where Art Thou? Holy fucking shit. I'm not even getting started. The Assassination of Jesse James. Nominated. No Country for Old Men. Nominated. The Reader. Nominated. True Grit. Nominated. Skyfall. Beautiful movie. Nominated. Prisoner. At least on my list. Yeah, but that part where he's fighting in that Tokyo... or Remember where it was like all those lights in yeah. Tokyo or whatever? Oh, yeah. God. Skyfall. Prisoners. Unbroken. Sicario. Oh, my God. Blade Runner 2049. Those are all nominations. And he's never won one. Nope. He is not winning this one either. If he had if he didn't win for No Country for Old Men. Fuck. If would, he didn't win for at least six of those that you Yeah, right. but that movie was nominated that one best picture. Sassy is Jesse James. Yeah, but that I one I wanna won- know what the fuck was what, what won that year for best cinematography over Assassin is Jesse James or Robert Cowboy Ford. That is some bullshit right there, dude. That is some fucking bullshit. That was the year No Country one, didn't it? Could those be out the same year? But you said he didn't win Best Cinematography. Look that shit up. 
Be my fact checker. Do you want to come on every podcast and be my fact checker? Because I don't have a fact. Yeah. We're usually wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're the same year. <laughs> they're the same year. Are they the same year? Yep. No shit. Wow. I remember okay. that because that's when I wanted... Because uh, I knew when Assassination didn't get nominated, but uh, There Will Be Blood did. Okay. Okay. And No Country for Old Men won. I was like, eh, it's a good movie, but... It's no no country for old men. Ooh. I mean, it's not uh, assassination of Jimmy James. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or there will be blood. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I watched both those movies. There will be blood was a. Did you say the same year? I kind of. Those were all oh seven. Oh my god, that's like that 2017 that I was living where where it was like Arrival and <laughs> Hell High Water and whatever else I said earlier. Uh, I shit. I lost my shit. Uh, <laughs> I lost my shit. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I love when there's like a group of movies in the same year that just like are fucking and that you know are going to be awesome for years. But that's the cool thing about when you talk about these movies that are. Um, yeah, what was that year where it was a. Uh, wasn't that 1992? That like a big year for Oscar nods, noms, and wins and losing? What? Yeah, oh, wow. hold on. Let me check that real quick. He's going to do some research. I just like the fact that it's not about that year, but it's about like oh, down the road. Like you're talking about earlier. It's, it's, oh, it's, that's it's, Silence of the Lambs. That's 91. 91, yeah. All uh, right, there's where they got one right. It's the 2007 movies, but it's the 2008 Oscars. Yeah. Michael Clayton, great movie. Atonement. That was nominated? Yeah, that was a fine that's movie. a fine movie, but no. No Country for Old Men. Juno was great. There yep. Will Be Blood was... Oh, my God. A mall's a some good three right there. There's some good right. three movies right there. So, three or five. That's awesome. I want to say it was 1993. And what 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 movie was? There it is. Okay. No, no, that's where I thought a few good men should win because that was the best movie in 1993. You're killing me here. Yeah, hold on. I'm trying to find that year where. Get your every... shit right. I thought you were gonna do some research. <laughs> Dude, have some more whiskey. <laughs> Give me like two seconds. Maybe it was 94. I'm done with my Good. whiskey. I'm done with my beer. Fuck. No, that was Schindler's List. Okay, that deserved it. <laughs> yeah. It must be 93. Nope. Well, what is the purpose of this? What, what are you looking for? Like, what, uh, up against uh, what? Uh, when, um... I forgot. That's what I'm saying, man. What the fuck are we looking for? You're looking for Oh, covers. when uh, Shawshank. Oh, it was 95. Shawshank. It was 95, right? 95. That was, yeah, that, yeah, that was, was a college, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah that was Shawshank and Pulp Fiction and Forrest Gump and Yeah, some good yeah, some okay. good some good movies there, and it's it's a, it's a it's a political thing. It's 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 never the best movie. It's yeah, the best Forrest movie Gump, that... Pulp Fiction, Shawshank, Quiz Show and Four Weddings and a what oh, a funeral. but that's good Quiz. four out of five. Yeah, Chris Show's really good. Yeah, I like that. So here's the cool thing is that it's, here's not the, the not cool thing is that there's, it's, yes, it's about that year, right? Right? But is the, the 1992 whatever NFL team that won the championship better than an 85 Bears team? I mean, you can't compare, right? So it's about that year. So you have to use that as, as, the, as the barometer. It's that year. But then you also have to take into consideration that longevity of, what a movie means years after. Cabernet is no one's no one's watching Cabernet. Everyone's watching The Godfather, right? Yeah. So you have those type of like what? That's what, why I'm saying it doesn't mean anything. None of this means anything. The people that are voted in 1975 mm-hmm. were like you know they were probably like average 60 years old and they were used to watching like musicals and stuff, you know. So when new stuff comes out, they're like, eh, I don't watch that. Right? You so know? Star Wars doesn't win and Annie Hall does. Yeah. yeah. Right? Well, Which is it's, bullshit. It's, yeah. Which you understand back then why it doesn't. But when you look at why, you're like, why... Can't rationalize why that movie, which revolutionized a whole industry and created a fandom like you've never seen before. Right? right. But, How can that not win Best but, Picture that year? That's why I'm saying it only matters for the people who win. Right. It doesn't matter for you or me. It doesn't matter for... It doesn't mean anything. Right, you know, yeah, because I'm not Wars, voting. Star Wars winning the Best Picture would have means nothing to me because I was I was one. Right when it happened, so Maybe. when I started like really your, knowing what the fuck that range. meant, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't right. mean it's the Best Picture. It doesn't mean anything to me later. It just means something that year for the people who make it. You're you're absolutely right because then they can get better deals, maybe better offers. Hopefully, not have the Oscar curse on their case. You know, yeah, all that we, good shit. We. Put this 
you know, fake thing on top of it that, oh, this movie's good because it won an Oscar. Right. It's, you know? It was the case. And then you watch it and you're like... Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to like it. May- you know? <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to. <laughs> so, Bob, this thing, this Oscar thing comes out tomorrow. Right? Yeah, you want to want to just... For shits and giggles. Yes, for shits our... and giggles. So, best <laughs> so everybody, picture. Everybody can make fun of us. As for, best uh... picture. This is going to be like a week or at least a week or two because I'm releasing the video game part two tomorrow. Uh, I just finished editing, so that's out tomorrow. By the way, you think I'm drunk now? Holy fuck. What? I... What are you doing? When I... The video game part two, I am... It's just ridiculous. God, so, I, listen, I, I hope you... Yeah, I, I hope people don't. So, okay. Best picture. Lay on me. All right. We have nine. I'm going to lay them out to you real quick. Call Me By Your Name, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, The Shape of Water, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. What is your best picture nomination, even though this is after the fact? <laughs> what I think will win? Yes. Uh, Shape of Water. What I would want... Really? Yeah, okay. what I would want to win... Uh, Dunkirk, maybe. I like, Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, I think three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri is going to win. Yeah, you said that because you, right? you didn't like it that much. Yeah, and I think that, that, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> so that win. means it's going to win. And, and out of what's listed of this movie list, you know, it's funny. You, say, I had an argument against Good Dunkirk earlier. Of the movies you've seen, what one the, would you pick? <laughs> <laughs> And you picked it. <laughs> Other than that, maybe the post. And I don't, I don't, I chose, I choose not to choose the post because it's so, like, just oh, it's the so post like is so it's, good. It's, it's good, but it's like so outward. It's it's so outrightly stomping on the fact of the freedom of the press. Yeah, you know, it's just really trying to drive that point home, right? Just that point home. You so at any rate, okay. Yeah, he didn't bring out Get Out because he's a racist. Best director. Hmm? We have Dunker, Christopher Nolan, Get Out, Jordan Peele, Lady Bird, Gerda Gerwig, Gerda Gerwig, uh, Phantom Thread, Paul Thomas Anderson, Shape of Water, Guillermo del Toro. Best picture, best director now. Uh, what I think will win will be Guillermo del Toro. Um, <laughs> what I think will win will be um, Christopher Nolan. Okay. Um, I think Lady Bird's going to win, Gerda Gerwig. Oh, wow. Yeah. And... Um, I really think Jordan Peele should win. For best direction? I really liked what he did with that. Yes. And I think he's just like, it's stepping so off out of what he was like, what you would expect from him. Well, yeah. But then I, I, I can't see his name here, but then I see Christopher Nolan. I'm like, yeah, probably him too. Yeah. So I'm kind of torn. He's not that try- they're equal movies, but I really like the direction not to of Jordan be a Peele. Ra- racist because he didn't pick Get Out for best picture. Yeah. Okay. So moving on, that's best picture, best director. Okay. Is there anything else we should vote on here? How about actors? And Best actors? actor. We have Timothy Shamalat from Call Me By Your Name, Daniel Day-Lewis, Phantom of Thread, Daniel Kaluuya, uh, Get Out, G- D- uh, Gary Oldman, Darkest Hour, and Denzel Washington, Roman J. Israel Esquire. I think that says Timothy. Timothy? Yeah, there's like a thing at the end. Okay, yes, I don't know how to do that. And M. Yeah. I think he's French. Timothy. Okay, great. Name it. Go. Oh, um, best lead actor? Yes. Um... Of those guys, well, obviously Denzel Washington in the movie I've never heard of. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's gonna be Gary Oldman. They're gonna I, give it to him because he's Gary Oldman. And I, I almost want to say Danny Day Lewis, uh-huh. just because it's Danny Day Lewis and Paul no, Thomas I'm, Anderson. I'm saying what I think is gonna. What win. I think, I actually, I hope Gary Oldman wins because I love Gary Oldman. Yeah. I hope he wins. Um, but I can't say much Just more from than watching that. the trailers, I'm like, oh, he's going to win. Best actress, this. Sally Hawkins, Shape of Water, Francis McDormand, Three Billboards, Ooh, I Margo, uh, Margot Robe, I, I, Tony, I, Tanya. I, uh, Tony? I, Tony. Uh, Sorosi Rohan. I don't know how to say her name from Lady uh, Bird. Oh. Sorosi, Sorosi Ronan? I don't know. Yeah. That's what I said. Meryl Shoot. Streep from The Post. Ugh. Sorosi Ronan was really good. Um, oh, Margot Robbie was fantastic. Was I did, she? I did see I, Tanya. 
Okay. Yeah, she couldn't. She couldn't get past the fact that uh, Tanya is not that uh, good looking. Ah, okay. Yeah, you're so right. So that was yeah. hard okay. to get through. Well, was her porn scene in the movie? No, it didn't. Oh, get that. that's it a damn No, it didn't get that far. Okay. Um, but I think it'll probably go to Sally Hawkins because she plays a moot. Moot, a mute, a mute, a mute, a mute. A mute. A mute. <laughs> that's a, a mute. mute point. That's like an introduction. That's like an introduction. <laughs> I'm not even drinking his whiskey. Um, but but she acts very well for not speaking. Interesting. Okay, okay. I didn't know she was a, a no. moot. But I'd probably give it to Margot Robbie because she's hot. <laughs> I I think it's gonna go to Meryl Streep. Oh, because she's Meryl Streep. Nah, eh. And I think it should Didn't go. I think it should go to Frances McDormand. Okay, well She's you would know better than I did. Yeah, exactly. Um, but didn't she got one for Fargo? She. Why did I say that? Like I lived there. Yeah, uh, she got one from Fargo. She got one from Fargo. Fargo. Best supporting actor: William Dafoe, uh, Woody Harrelson, Richard Jenkins, Christopher Plummer, Sam Rockwell. I believe it'll be Sam Rockwell. I believe it'll be Richard Jenkins. Okay. And I don't know who it should be because I, it could be any one of those. Yeah. I mean, it's great. Uh, now, here's what I just really hope. It's like picking what kind Here, of light oh, beer you want. Oh, this is interesting. Mm. Adaptive screenplay. Nice. Call Me By Your Name, James Ivory. The da- Disaster Artist. <laughs> Fuck, that movie was really good. Logan. Mobby's Game and Mudbound. I know you make that face about Logan because it's an adapted screenplay, but it's it's so far away from the original story. It's material. not adapted from anything. It is. It's adapted. It's adapted from the character Logan. It's adapted from a source material. That's it. They made with it. It's not true to form. Is that what that well, means, though? Well, no, that's what I that... thought. I thought it meant like if you read the source material, um. And then you got the end product. So then you would be more... But apparently yeah, yeah. that's not true because none of those people read Old Man Logan. <laughs> so that's the thing. is they, They're they not looking at that. So they're I think they're it's looking the at... It's adapted. It's adapted from the character It doesn't matter. Logan. It's adapted from something. They're yeah. taking it from something. They're making a screenplay out well, of it. Mostly it's adapted from a book. Right. You know? And they're like, okay, you read the book, right. and then you read the spring screenplay, and it's a very good adaption of, uh, adaptation of. But the, does that? Okay, so now and that is not at all. So close. what is, does, does that really mean? What it means, though, because what I if, don't know. What if, what if a? That's what I thought it meant. Yeah. So if it's a source material of whatever sort, you know, book, poem, whatever, fairy tale, whatever the case may be, Grimm's fairy tale, right? Okay. Or you have. A book, and then you have the screenplay. It's the adaptation. So, is the screenplay good? And it's based on something else. Is that all it is? I. That's kind of where I think it is. If, if that, especially that, when you consider Logan. If you consider Logan, that's right. what makes sense. So, if you talk about the original, it's original. There's no. There's nothing before yeah. it that you're taking it from. But I always mixing. took adapted screenplay as you, if you read the source material and then you it's right saw on. the movie. It's a very good adaptation of the source material. It's a good adaptation. I see what you're saying. That's that's a good. Where's that delineation? Where's that? Where's that? That that. But I don't think that's true. I think they basically say if this is a good movie based on something else. That's what I think it is, especially when you include Logan. Because if you if you think about that, Fight Club should have (laughs) won. Right. You know. Right. Exactly. Right. Because that was a perfect adaptation of that book. Yeah. (laughs) For sure. Well, since we can't really judge adaptive screenplays, then let's look at the original. The Big Sick, Get Out, Lady Bird, Shape of Water, Three Billboards. I saw them all except for Three Billboards. I saw two. Hmm. So I can't really judge that one. So, okay. Uh, I'm not going to even give They're all good. Uh, I saw two. Uh, shit. Screenplay-wise of the two, I'll give, I think, it, to, I'll, uh, I'll give it to Get Out of the two that i see. seen. Um... Lady Bird's a really good. I think Lady Bird will win because Shape of Water is more of a uh, a visual movie. I see. Lady oh, okay. Bird, yeah, Lady yeah, yeah, Bird yeah, yeah, is yeah. just a but good, still, but still written. It has to be written that way. Right, but I don't think they'll see it that way. Oh, uh, well, okay, that's a good point. Maybe that's why Paul Fiction won. That's why Jesse, Jesse James didn't win. Yeah, but Paul Fiction won best original screenplay. That's true, but all dialogue. Exactly. Heavy, Lady heavy. Bird's a lot of dialogue. Uh, okay, okay. Shape of Water is a visual movie. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I won't even go over cinematography because it should and has to be Blade Runner, but it probably won't be. It'll probably be Dunkirk. Who did cinematography for it? Dunkirk? Yeah. Hoyt Van Hoytenem. Oh, it's not his usual boy? No. 
That's what surprised me. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, he made yeah. that one Johnny Depp movie and then he disappeared. Uh huh. He's gone. Um, Darkest Hour, Mudbound, Super nah. Water. But Blade Runner should should and has to win. Yeah, that's got to be Roger Deakins' career Oscar, and it, and it can't be considered career Oscar because he's owed it. No, based on that fucking because, list you gave because me? they say that yeah. every year he's nominated every year. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> he's got to win this year. Hey, Bob, this has been fun, man. Um, I know we just kind of finished off on the 2018. Oscars, but I think we had some good stuff about just Oscars in general. So I think so. Uh, I appreciate you coming on board again. Why not? Thanks for having. Thanks for I being like here. being here, man. And uh, everyone, you know how to find us. Hopefully, if you don't, if you don't, it's at we're at the J Craig Podcast on iTunes, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Um, what am I missing? SoundCloud, right? And then you have us also at the J Craig Podcast and the jcraig.com. So come visit us, subscribe to us, like us. Sometimes we're sober, sometimes we're not. Keep on listening. We'll keep talking. <laughs>